Ready? Let's go. All right, we are back. Throne room. The famous, global, worldwide man himself. Who is Greg Jones? How you feeling, man? I'm feeling great tonight, man. The first interview of my life as a hey, music career. And I'm exclusive. Yes, sir. Appreciate you having me on. I can't lie about that. Absolutely, yeah. man. Appreciate you making some time. I mean, we had we tried a couple different things, dates, whatever, and it wouldn't work, and then it's just magic. Yeah, it's happening. Hey, we all dog stuff happens. It all works out in the end anyway. So exactly. Shit. Appreciate it. Yes, um, sir. I always kick off, as you already know, <laughs> kick off with the name. Who is Greg Jones? Talk to me. Alright, so I was uh so I started back around uh twenty thirteen, I guess I wanna say the that OG like SoundCloud scene. Yeah, yeah. You know, you struggle through like the names. I don't know what I had, I had like Swift Justice at one time. I like that, <laughs> so that's cool. That's yeah, that's an interesting one. Oh my god. Swift Justice. And then I had uh Greg Jones the ugly fuck, because I was like I was like one <laughs> ugly ass teenager, I'm not even finna lie. Now I'm all beautiful, I got yeah. drip out the ass, so <laughs> and then uh, about 2012 when I started like Twitter and all that I had who is Greg Jones cause like who Mike Jones you know yeah, so I was like yeah. I'll, t- I'll take something like that no disrespect like Mike Jones but yeah. then I was like I had an existential crisis so I was like like who, same who? year like still 2012 no I was like I guess it passed on it was like uh, around like 2014, 2014 like I had okay. the existential crisis so I was like man who like who, who am, am I, I? who yeah. is myself and all that I was like, hey, it's my Twitter handle. I like sticks. Like, I can't lie. Yeah. So I like it. I'll keep it. Because I'm, I think I'm a pretty mysterious, mysterious man myself. So, yeah. people always like wonder and stuff like that. So, I'm just like, I'll stick it. I like it. it doesn't yeah. Matter. They wonder, you wonder, yeah, Wumbo, same. whatever. Yeah. It's all the same. We'll all figure it out one day. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, hello. Uh, so, curious then. Um, and you don't have to say it if, if you don't want to. Greg Jones, real name or made up, fully made up? Nah, that's, that's my uh, real name. Like, okay. I have a long, like, government name. Okay. But, like, I always trimmed it down to Greg Jones. Okay. It's just, like, hit better and I like this, so. You have, like, multiple middle names, or how do you have I such have, a... I have two last names. Okay. Yeah, so I have my Why dad. flexing and... on me? All right. <laughs> <laughs> so I have uh, my mom's and dad's name. My mom was finna change it. Okay. But she didn't want to pay, like, the 100 bucks because it was right. too late. Yeah, yeah. So it was, like, whatever. So I just, like, let it stick, so I wasn't tripping too heavy. Okay. This is a potentially weird question, uh, and I, I mean this out of genuine curiosity for anybody who, who's going to roast me for this. Was your mom or dad, uh, I guess, Hispanic or something? Because I know they merge the names always. Is that what it was? Or it was just nah, like... I have um I have a white mother and okay. I have a black father. Okay. So, like, it was like some situation... Uh, it was like some... I don't know how to describe it, but, like... I guess she wanted me to have her last name. Okay. Ended up with like his, but I prefer Jones more because. Okay. All right, I'm gonna expose myself. My okay. second last name is Neil, N E A L. Ooh. And my insurance messed that up. I'm not even gonna lie. They put an O instead of an L. So if I get pulled over, I hope they don't cost me at all. I'll tell you that. But um, yeah. So I just okay. like I like the Jones because I grew up around like my dad's side of the family. When yeah. I, when I lived in Maryland. So I just like kept the name because it was all like the Jones side. So I'm just, right, like, yeah, I'm Jones just, is a, just a hard name. Like it's like <laughs> yeah. it's a good name. Neo's yeah. cool too, but Jones is like I, I get yeah. makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, so what? Uh, I'm just curious. What what was Swift Justice? What what made? How did we come up with Swift Justice? I don't even know what was going on back then. I, I have no clue. Maybe <laughs> I was like. I, I could not tell you, bro. It was just like something that sounded cool. I think mm-hmm. it was my gamer tag actually, or something like that. Yeah. Like, what should my gamer tag be, or something like that? Swift and it was like Just- Swift Justice. I kept it like. I don't even think I have a song under that name anymore. I think it was like a stupid like B, but I wasn't like knowing what I was doing. So. I see. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was like one of that. So. Yeah, that was the era, and it's funny. I think you're probably one of. A handful of people who's been like, oh yeah, my gamer tag was this, and this is me now, my artist name or my whatever, and it's like yeah. that persona kind of like, we didn't know it at the time that it would carry on to, yeah. you know, whatever. Um, so, and kind of maybe just answered it, but what was the name initially for? You said maybe SoundCloud era. Was it to make music? Was it for gamer tag? What were you coming up with? Swift Justice, who is Greg Jones? What was that name like for? Does that make I sense? I think it was, yeah, I think it was more of like the artist side or like the... The other side I wanted to express that I couldn't because, like, of, I don't know, because you're, like, a teenager, so you don't know, like, what to do. So it's better yeah. to have, like, a 
second persona to like express right. yourself in like the different way. Mm-hmm. So and I guess I was like rebellious too. Like I, you guess you're wrong. Like the like I don't know. Like was, yeah, but. Just want to show like justice to the world or something. I don't know something yeah. stupid like that. Whatever was going through my mind back then. Okay. But other than that, yeah, I guess it was like trying to, cause I was like super inspired by like my friends. He was uh my boy Frandy. Mm-hmm. Uh, my one boy Dolo. Shout out to him. I hope he's doing well. Yeah. And then Randy, wherever he is, I hope he's doing good. Yeah. Shout out to him. Your friend. Sh- and my one boy uh, Shiflet was it Kelly. Okay. He um they st- they like combined. They was like all big in the music too before like I got into that, and they like started like a little group for like fun. I think it was um STD for like <laughs> Shift with True Dolo. <laughs> That's dope. So then um I don't know what happened. I think uh, Frander found his name, and then eventually like we all started doing it. Like we all started inspiring each other for yeah. real. Yeah. So we all eventually like started doing it and having fun with it and. Yeah, we, all, we eventually came up with AOC one time. Mm-hmm. Like I can't, ex- I can't remember exactly, but like it just stuck. Another lost call. A bunch of, we were a bunch of like we lived in a trailer park in the outskirts yeah. of the suburbs. Believe that or not, like it was just like I'm not trying to trace it. Like in the yeah, outskirts, it's, so this is like, yeah, it's like so. It was in the so you just like take a right and then you're in the suburbs, like right there, full okay. blown, like. It was like a giant trailer park, so they just threw like the lower end people mostly there, <laughs> and they just like regular, you go over yeah. there. But it wasn't too bad. Like there was a bunch of like we was all meant to meet each other. Like you have a bunch of kids like literally around the same age. Right. Like, grew up growing up in the same area. Like you don't hear that often. So it was all like meant to come together. So yeah. And I say like, man, they really, really helped me out. Like getting it was all fun. So AOC for life. I'll tell you that. Hell yeah. Yeah. Shout out to all my bros back in Maryland, bro. I miss y'all. I hope y'all don't hate me for leaving y'all, but. <laughs> Hey, we'll be back soon, man. I love you. Absolutely. So, the, I guess, because you said something about, like, I wanted to express, like, the artist side and the artist name type shit. So, did you, you knew making Greg Jones, even, we'll, we'll throw a swift justice to the side, making yeah. who is Greg Jones was like, all right, I'm an artist now and I want to, ex- this is my artist name or, like, I guess, how did that, how did you? know that this was, I'm going to be an artist. I don't know if it made, made sense. I think um, all these dots here. with all the um, like inspirations I have, my friends are like super talented. Like I, I cannot, you can't believe like how talented like we are. Like, yeah. And I was just like, man, like this would be good. Like we, we have so much potential. And then as I was growing, I really enjoyed like pop punk and mm-hmm. making music. So I had like a guitar that I barely played. Okay. I wish I played it more, but yeah. I had tripping. I'm not too bad now. But uh, I was like, I want to like make this like rock stuff. Like this stuff is like fun. Yeah. Like and I like singing and stuff like that. So I was just it's like I tried out put my voice on a track, but it was like hard because like actually putting expressing yourself on a track is like right. weird at first. So it's like, uh. but then like <clears throat> the one like I really dropped that like really I uh, really liked was this song called Pro Skater. Oh, oh yeah, I heard that one. Gosh, like that was a banger. Performing that live the first time was like phenomenal so like yeah and that's like when i really popped off then i like slew up a little bit but then like i was like i don't know what i'm finna do with myself <laughs> so then i like just just try to make more music and it brought me all the way out here so yeah okay so i'm gonna try to i'm trying to put together the timeline for everybody so you decided you're gonna be an artist kind of expressing yourself you were i guess already hanging out with all those people because they all live like nearby. yeah we all live we were all like really good friends like mm-hmm. we're brothers like yeah i hope they know they're like my brother for life and i love them like yeah we all grew up with each other i moved there i um i moved around a lot when i was younger until mm-hmm. like seventh grade but you were I, like, from maryland originally yeah, like, from yeah. that area? Okay. i was born in virginia but i moved to like okay. maryland when i was like probably like three or four Interesting. Yeah. What was the Virginia to Maryland? It seems like two, I guess, to us Ohioans, it's like two just random states. Like, what made Not, it? I mean, A, for life, the DMV, the pop, one of the most popping, like, districts there is, man. You got to hear some of the artists out there. Yeah, yeah. We have our own flow and, like, this some genre called Go-Go and all that. Like, Ooh, okay. D.C. is popular for that. And oh, were you in that area? Yeah, that okay. D.C., Maryland, Virginia. It was only 45 That's minutes from D.C. DMV. Ah. Yeah, DC, Okay, Maryland, I think Virginia. of drivers something. Yeah, yeah. Department of Motor Vehicles or yeah. whatever. Okay. Yeah, but, man, this is, um, 
this one artist out from out there, Brent Fires. I don't know if you ever heard of him. That doesn't sound familiar, no. Yeah, he, he's from that. We got like, if you looked at the list of famous people from the DMV, you'd yeah. be surprised, like, who came from there. Yeah. Punk was actually really big in D.C. too, like, back in the 80s and stuff. So mm-hmm. it, was, it was always popular for, like, artists. So Yeah. There's so much talent out there, I'll tell you that. It's yeah. crazy. It all makes sense now, too, that it's the DMV, because I guess I'm thinking... Virginia, Maryland, they're not even close to each other. They're whatever, they're, and I'm maybe not the most geographically uh, knowledgeable, I guess, but it makes sense then that it's if you kind of lump it together, it's all, are they, they're just next to each other? Is that yeah, right? more or less. So, like, D.C. is like a district. It's like inside Maryland, but it's not like a state, so it's like a, a district of Columbia. Okay. It's not like D.C. works. Yeah. So like, it's like its own thing, taxation without representation, all that nonsense. <laughs> Like, um, yeah. but then, like, Virginia's its own state, like, borders kind of, like, down here from Maryland, so, like... Okay. Yeah. So, it wasn't, like, I guess I'm picturing, like, a random state to a random state, like, over here, but yeah, it wasn't... Yeah, no, like no, that. it's, like, it's all, like, interconnected to each other. You can traverse each state or okay. each part from one another, so... Okay. I mean, so, now I think I, I kind of... Okay, so you were <laughs> you're friends with everybody. You moved from Virginia to Maryland, uh, met everybody, started making stuff... I'm trying to not be redundant, but I'm just trying to follow everything. So, uh, I forget what the original question was even. Yeah, I, I talk a lot. I'm sorry for no, going over the question. Good. Like, <laughs> I feel like, um, like interconnecting things to like lead to other things. Like it like brings like a broader right. like understanding of like how this all led together. Cause it's kind of like okay. singular effects, like all lead to this one like moment if you understand. So yeah, yeah. Like, ramble on from like different <laughs> points. So don't mind me. That's all right, man. I'm going to connect all the dots here. Uh, but, um, I think it was the, um, the who is Greg Jones and all that. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, and I guess even great, callback because I, I I forgot a question I was going to ask and you reminded me so you said you hit an existential crisis what what was the existential crisis because it, it usually you think of that it's like oh, I'm 43 and I hate my life or whatever but being way younger like what uh what was the existential crisis uh, you know um so you, you get into like those like conspiracies or like you dig deep in that rabbit hole yeah and then it, like makes you go a little crazy but then as you think more and more you're like this world is actually a, a fucking right. Lie. Some like, of that stuff could be possible. Yeah, like, yeah. And just like, like who am I? Like who? What am I? And yeah. who am I exactly? And you just like wonder and just like this. This is so that's where it all came from. It's okay. like waking up at a younger age and seeing the world for how it really is. Like really makes you. It's yeah. a long process. If you, it's a long process in general to like find yourself. I'm glad I like started a little younger. Right. But it doesn't hurt. Like as long as everybody like. Just find yourself and be true to yourself as much as you can. Just yeah. Doesn't matter how long the journey is. Don't ever lose yourself. That's the best way to say it. Yeah. Was there a certain conspiracy or certain, like, catalytic moment that you were like, fuck, like, this this is why I'm having the crisis? Or was it just kind of like a co- bunch of things just over time? You're like, what the fuck? Like- I had the feeling, like... It's like a feeling that like something from beyond was like speaking from me, like that Ooh. kind of stuff. Okay, I may some, be some like schizophrenic, but I mean, I you <laughs> never know. Like maybe right. it's not, but it, like what it, it feels like true to my heart sometimes. So like, and then just like started seeing like and feeling like it was like a feel like you feel it too like yeah. around you. you. You like physically feel like the energy, and then as I grew, I like physically like could feel the differences between the negative and the positive and I tried Whoa. to attain it to my mind so I understand like what to pick up on what I don't like yeah so it's just like a journey like that of like the world like what we live in this physical realm that could be much more beyond the mundane we live in once we right. break the coil that we exist in that our soul resides so it's like you think about it like religion is all the same the mm-hmm. mind body and soul or like the 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 Father, Son, Son and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Yeah, it's yeah. All, it's, all the, it's all the same stuff. Okay. And so I believe, like, there's definitely, like, vib- think about it like this. There's vibrations that exist. Right. Okay? We can't see. We only see it, if, like, a set vibration. Mm-hmm. So if there's vibrations lower or higher that we can't see, yeah. what exists, like, what, is there anything more? And it's, it's like, you could progress, just, like, the theory of, like, you can raise yourself to to a higher point to be like at a the correct conscious the best you can to like the way the wisdom and stuff all just comes in yeah like, it's just very intriguing and i just wanted to like go through a journey but as you like grow you like have an understanding of it but you you have to realize like 
I probably don't know shit. Like, but <laughs> I just, as long as it's my reality, so if it helps me out, it's, at least it's good to have, like, some faith in something, you know? Right. So it's, like, it's, it's all the same stuff, so I have no worries. Like, it's definitely, like, something beyond and, like, maybe a creator, like, an all-knowing force that mm-hmm. like, exists that, like, helps guide. And the little workers that help guide each and yeah. everything, you just got to, like, listen. It's just, it's, I don't know, sometimes it's just, like... <laughs> Uh, maybe you guys probably do exist like i don't know yeah it's like nuts so you almost i don't say woke up one day but you almost like just one day were like started feeling stuff and you're like what the fuck or yeah. like i'll tell you this one experience i was smoking with my boy dolan one time okay i heard a pop in the middle of my forehead well it was like a p- and i was like i hope nothing just happened to my <laughs> brain like what just happened i wonder what that was yeah <laughs> but and then I felt right here, there was an eye-shaped, like, bump in the Yo, middle of my head. Oh, okay. So I went on, like, there was, and then I, like, went online. There was a couple people that did, had the same experience. So I was like, that's weird. And I, I was like, I had a feeling of, like, tranquility I've never felt before after, like, Whoa. that happened. I was like, what the f- I had to make sure I didn't have, like, no contusion or blood. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. But after feeling this for, like, a minute, there was, like, an eye-shaped bump. Specifically an eye-shaped bump after yeah. getting into all that stuff. Oh, it makes you start to, like, wonder. Like, I was yeah. Like, oh, my goodness. Like, Do you feel, like, a difference? Can you look back before that happened and after that happened and notice, like, I? you said the tranquility, but anything else where you're, like, oh, I was a diff. I am... I don't want to say awakened, but or do you feel like completely different from that person pre pre pop, if you yeah, will? Yeah, I guess so. Like, cause it's because it's like a progression state once you hit that point. Like, you mm-hmm. have to you have to like work towards you because in order for like yourself to like exist at like that high vibration, you have to balance your mind. So you have to get that right and mm-hmm. yourself right and all that. So that it was like a. After that, it was more of like a journey of trying to figure out who I am, who is Greg Jones, to right. like understand like like how all this works and like if there is a higher so maybe like connect to that as much as i can yeah. as possible so like but it's just it's just like that journey that like that journey i had like through these times so i'm it's like it feels feels good to like look back yeah lie. were you searching and seeking like uh, uh, oh, awakening and it popped and it was like here it is you got it or was it it felt very kind of out of the blue just like it, it was maybe i guess at that time when you're like looking into that like you want to experience it but mm-hmm. then when you like you do you're like uh maybe i'm fucking crazy like I, <laughs> maybe i'm just tripping maybe yeah. i'm high as hell but i don't know man like this it's just a feeling that holds true to my heart that i know that i've made sure in the right the intuition mm-hmm. like it, it's clearly like that that doesn't come from like it you could describe it like it's maybe multiple things like your brain picked up and it's like just stored there and like it mm-hmm. picks up but like i mean we're it's all like we're all thinking but we're all connected to one thing and right. any point so like when we all die we, the possibility of us going to like the brighter light or the, the mm-hmm. void we all like interconnect as one we were all yeah. one instead of like what we are like we're that's how they say all is one and one is all for sure yeah, yeah god is me and god is and you know and i am god and it's all the same stuff right yeah and i'll always talk about people or with people about the idea that like we can't even comprehend God. We th- we always are like the visualization is like oh he's up here and it's a guy and it's this and it's whatever. But like God could be. I mean God is here. It, like omniscient. Om. What is it? The three things. But yeah, I think God is just used as a way to like interpret it the best we can. Yeah, because we can't mind, comprehend it. So like. I believe that we should combine science and religion to get mm-hmm. the because mathematics is the language of the universe and right. faith. Like if you hold faith to like the higher vibrations that will mm-hmm. like and you gonna connect those, it could be like a perfect world, all more or less. Like yeah, if you I like how you said it. faith at the higher vibration too, because yeah. I think that is a a big piece of it. Where it, like you're saying, elevating yourself to that, and you do it by faith of like I know this is true, and you start vibrating at those different frequencies. Yeah, exactly. Like. Cause it's it was yeah it's it's a big journey man like yeah. I might be tripping like people call me crazy but <laughs> I mean we all gotta it just feels true to my heart and I feel like right. just what I see and what I perceive in this world so yeah and it's cool you were uh, I always am stoked when I get to do interviews like this because I 
my brain works that, that same way as pretty much everybody who is sat across from me doing an interview and we're, feels very open-minded and curious and like, if this is true, that's awesome. If it's not, if I'm, if I'm wrong, it's a journey. I'll find out whatever. And so many people I interact with are like, no, it's this book, the, the Torah, the Bible, the Quran, whatever it is. It's no, I do this. I wake up, I go to church on Sunday or I do whatever my thing is. I don't even want to hear about something else. Just don't even, I don't want to think about it. So it's always refreshing that there's somebody who's like open-minded to learn. Yeah. It's, shit. it's all the, it's all the same. Every belief is more or less the same, just different interpretations. Cause a lot of this stuff was lost in translation from right. the original Hebrews and the uh, Sumerians and the mm-hmm. Egyptians and all that, all that stuff was like lost in translation or lost in general. So yeah, they, they clearly had some understanding to a point that maybe humans can actually reach again, which is, mm-hmm. that's what's curious about, like, the Greeks and the Sumerians and the Hebrews and the Egyptians, because they, yeah. was, they was on, like, a, they had an understanding that was, was so insane, like, yeah. it was, I don't, I, it's something you can't describe because you're not there, like, you right. can't, can't fathom even thinking on that level you know what i'm saying yeah like, it's, it's crazy because we only think about like man the physical realm like in the 3d plane so mm-hmm. like sometimes you can like think outside the box and like the 40 percent you can like see it all and see like right where this is that is gonna go but like they were like i don't know what they were on like yeah you uh, will never know but like it's this stuff's all interesting so it's like interesting like incorporating it in like these modern times like mm-hmm. all that like metaphysical stuff is like being brought in but i think it's also being like misused and mis like concept or mis like conceived wrong word misperce- misperceived misperceived yeah, yeah yeah misperceived so like it's gonna cause like people to like downplay it because mm-hmm. it's like the internet like the internet like if you see it on the internet obviously like yeah but like yeah take the time to like sit with yourself and feel with nature and whatever mm-hmm. comes to rise just listen because yeah tell you stuff like if you have questions sometimes you just like have a thought that like is like that gives you like a set of peace like that's probably like um, as a guide or like a high vibrational spirit or yeah. whatever you want to call it guiding an angel mm-hmm. God guiding you to your correct path and if you're willing to listen then they'll keep sending you where you need to be yeah that's it's awesome hearing that because i i've been kind of uh I don't know, think of very similar to that too, of just like we have all these distractions of today, whether who knows what it is, but so many distractions and who knows how many opportunities I've missed that I just wasn't paying attention to, but feeling and spotting those things where it's like, that's that phrase I needed to hear. There if you know, that's that person I should hit them up to interview or to do whatever it is, and like if you're not open or paying attention, you might mm-hmm. miss it. Yeah. Touch it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. How were you were you raised like Christian Catholic, were you, how were you like brought up that you were able to be open minded and like curious about everything, but also like, I don't say woke, <laughs> but like, how are you like, what was it kind of like being brought up? Let's see. Um, there was, there wasn't, my grandmother was like, she tried to bring us to church and all that, but I mean, it was like all weird and like, yeah. Just, I don't know. My mom didn't really like take us, but she, I know she went. But we didn't really, like, fall into that, like, too heavy. So we mm. didn't have, like, any spiritual thing. But we was, like, quite independent. So my mother okay. and my sister, I have a younger sister and two half-sisters. So mm-hmm. younger sister lived with us, but later yeah. passion. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just, like, it was all about finding our own path. and Okay. Find, I, it's just, like, a couple songs, as I remember back in my head. Like, if something about, like, faith or like if you don't have anything to believe in then what's the point of living sometimes right right right. if you don't have yourself or like believe in whatever then it's gonna be hard to survive in this world to keep Mm -hmm. yourself stable enough in your head yeah so because i have a mind that like races a lot so like it helped but I've, i've learned to use it as like a tool like you have like a question about something and like it leads me to like deeper think oh nothing like all that nonsense but like if it moves like that you can like connect multiple points at like uh, right like instant speed almost and be like oh wow like, <laughs> yeah or like i don't know how to describe it it's like weird like i have to i don't know how to physically describe it but like just what yeah. goes on in my head is just like like, yeah. So you were raised, I guess, to to find your own path. Like there wasn't like yeah. we're this, you have to do this, and it was just kind of like, hey, we're all gonna yeah learn and grow together. Yeah, I was I was also very different from like everybody in my family. I cannot lie. Yeah, I like, can relate to that for way, sure. <laughs> like 
like, I, I don't know, like, I was into, like, way different music, and mm -hmm. I was, like, one of the only few that, like, smoked or, like, had the party time. And, like, yeah, yeah. And as a teenager doing that and this, and... Your parents just never did that? They were just, like, uh, I mean, they, like, did. My mom did when she was, like, younger and all that, but, like, but in, like, current times, like, it wasn't, it was all, like, common people, I guess. But, like, I always felt okay. like it was, like, different, and I tried, I saw the world in, like, a different way than... Mm -hmm. Most of my people in my family, I was like, this is all, like, a lot. Like, especially growing up as a teenager, listening to punk music. Like, yeah. You know, you're just angry teenager, just mad at the fucking government. Yeah. Over and I'm like, these guys the are not here to protect us. They're here to protect each other. Yeah. Like, and all that stuff. And, and we're, like, here and all that. But I was like, you know, that pisses you off as a teenager because you feel like you're not being listened to. Mm -hmm. So you just like, and it's like a belief that you don't often hear. So if it's something you don't often hear, then they're not going to hear it or care to hear it. So it's just like. Right. Yeah. Okay. So it's like all that stuff. So like, and I eventually went through like rough patches and just like, I was like, what if, if these spirits exist or like high vibrational beings exist, please guide me. Please show me like yeah. where to go from here. And, and I just started listening. Like, I could tell, like, negative thoughts appeared on this side. So I could Whoa. tell when I'm, like, in my head and, um, like, thinking negative of, like, everything. It's thoughts only come from here. That's where the, I feel the negative vibrations or demons Dude. or whatever um, are trying to manipulate you mm -hmm. and play with you. Like then devil we, angel almost. Yeah, and then this side, I get a feeling of warmth. And I okay. get a feeling of, like like a hug almost tranquility like and it's just yeah. like wisdom that comes like i can't even like and i'm just like wow yeah that, that makes a lot of sense like, can you like go in your head and like c because it's almost split i mean we, st we obviously have the different sides of the brain mm -hmm. but how do you how do you balance it or how do you like i don't want to say shut this down but like how do you uh how do you balance like having if this is good and this is you know kind of bad like how do you deal with having both of them in your head so the the bad side is not always bad it always leads there's more of like a realistic approach on oh, the bad I side see. too additionally but sometimes it can be like realistic or like start it's getting too realistic so like these possibilities could happen but they could not but then, right like, the, if it like goes that far like i'm just like anxious and not, then this side like always helps but uh if I need to like be in a state of like, there's sometimes I get in a state of flow where both the sides are now oh, okay. interconnected to a set point, and I'm like, you feel like you're on top of the world. Yeah. You hit that. So like, when I get in those modes, like I'm completely like unstoppable, almost like. I, yeah. So I'm trying to uh, learn how to get into that state more often. Yeah. So I can. Uh, that's that's when I like really because I have. Because one time I was coming home from Columbus and I like, I just woke up and I closed my eyes because it was so like tired. Yeah. And there was like this voice in this side. I was like, hey, create a ball in your hand and envision a white light. And I did. I stepped through it and there was, I turned to white and there was this figure that was basically looked like me, but it was all white. Uh -huh. And it was like, dude, like, this is like... This is like a safe zone. Like, this is like a spot where you can come for like wisdom and all that. I don't, I don't know how to describe that. That was like an interesting like mental. Like yeah. your mind is like try like exploring it, like envisioning stuff in your mm -hmm. head, and like you wouldn't trip on a journey. Like you won't even believe. Like it's true. It's it's, it's crazy. But yeah, that's that's when those both sides connect, and I enter like a state like that where I enter as like one of everything in the world. Yeah, so, that's so. incredible. I, I so. Was that the only time that you kind of like, I don't want to say consciously entered it, but is it something, because you said you want to be able to get into that more often, is it something you like, almost like you can't go back, like, hey, I found the secret door, it's not here anymore, oh, like oh, that type of thing, or like, nah, I can you could freely just do it, access like, it, like, freely access it at will if I must. Okay. But like, and it's always like, picture that ball of light in your hand, yeah, and then that's how you, you know, go. You know, anime actually talks about all this stuff i was gonna say like, i'm picturing naruto little, like, and bleach both like it's kind of like the hyperbolic time chamber it's more or less what that was it allows me to like sit there and progress through like 
almost like okay. time to like a point to like figure something out if I need to. So yeah. I have, like, I'm good at like figuring stuff out and all that. Like we're coming to like a conclusion. It, it helps with like growing too. Like usually stuff that like affects me like highly negative before. Yeah. Like, I like come to like an understanding rather like very insanely quickly, which is like really beneficial. Yeah. Like, I don't know how to describe it. So and the hyperbolic time chamber was a great description because that was different from how i was picturing it and i think that helped clarify it for yeah. sure that's dope um i've uh, maybe i watched naruto too much but i always kind of picture me when he's talking to the nine tail fox when he's like exactly locked up exactly. type shit where it's, it's like i've got stuff. that thing in me and i can walk through the path and like exactly it's all the same stuff yeah did you okay so <laughs> You might have to show me this technique afterwards because I'm curious if it works for myself. Um, I, and I guess maybe a question then has have you told anybody else that and they tried and it works the same way for them or do they you think it's different? They haven't tried. I told um, Slim and his uh, girlfriend. Okay. Uh, she's like a she's a pagan. Oh, she practices um, pagan witchcraft. I don't know. Yeah, like, he, he gave me a that. breakdown but, of what um, she was. So but. I did like told her and. She, they both were like, hey, if you have, like, experiences like that, always listen to it and, like, make sure, you, like, you do. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah, like, I'll yeah. keep that true to my heart because that's, like, this is one of those things is, like, dude, am I, like, crazy? Like, am I all right in my head? Yeah. Like, am I seriously all right? But, like, hey, man, your mind is, like, your own world. Think about it, it, is, think yeah. about it like that because, like, I don't know how to describe it. If you can literally create your own reality, then... What what else can your mind do? So right. just explore and have fun with it. Don't be scared of it. Sometimes people get scared of it, and once you start fearing your own mind, that's when nothing works out. Right? Yeah. This is like you're stuck with it. So like you better <laughs> better find a way to like make it work. Good friends with it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do any? Um, I don't want to say exercises, but do you do any meditation stuff? Or are you pretty much just like, oh, I, I need a second, and like go into your like your spot? Is that like how you kind of? keep accessing it and going there for wisdom is that kind of um so i'm kind of like lazy a lot so, <laughs> like, so i just like sitting around sometimes just chilling just like vibing but um so i don't do it as often as i should but sometimes i get in like a state maybe I get like too high or whatever mm -hmm. or i get like tired like really tired but i'm not like tired of i guess like being I around people so i like yeah. go upstairs and like lay down and close my eyes and then that's when you kind of like enter a dream state right and like so it's it's all the same as like meditation so it's yeah so i guess yeah i do have those like moments i do it like on without like knowing more or less subconsciously kind of okay and the like the flow state is it something that you notice maybe you kind of just answered it but like what when you enter that i guess i'm picturing like you have to be quietly sitting there make the thing and go into that like we'll call it the chamber if you will yeah. go into the chamber uh but is there something that you notice like oh when i'm making music or when i'm writing or when i'm like high uh, or whatever you get into that flow state yeah. easier i put those headphones on okay and then i close my eyes and i just look inside my body and i i start hearing um uh, i sing. i have a beautiful singing voice so yeah i really try i've been told by a lot of people and like i'm and when I do that, it's just like beautiful when you can hear like your notes hitting perfectly. And right. once you start hearing that and like the con I just like I know like I'm gonna go really good on this. Yeah. I like I get in the flow state and I just like express it all. Especially if it's something like um I've been wanting to like express but like I had a hard time. If I can like finally like creatively put it out there, that's when everything just like connects and yeah. comes together and I like sing it like perfectly. Like my one song, Colorless Angel, that is mm -hmm. probably one of the best times I've sang so far. Yeah, dude, that's and, a great song. Yeah, so and that's, and that, that, that like moment or that feeling is just like something else, I'll tell you that. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. And especially like in games too, because I play like a lot of sports, when I, especially baseball, so you have to have that. Uh, right. You had to have that like, focus flow mode to like watch a ball coming from 55 feet <laughs> right at like 80 miles per hour and so yeah the yeah so i guess it was like a skill as i developed subconsciously playing like sports and stuff back then. yeah it uh <laughs> i also played baseball i never hit any of that flow state that you're talking about so maybe i gotta do a little extra work yeah it's like because you go up there it's a mental battle with yourself you're like all right all right, all right. i gotta like settle down take a breath 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, like get up to this plate, just just watch the ball and just like hit it in the best and like that. And sometimes you just swing and the ball just connects and just right. Like, <laughs> it just happens. So like yeah. So especially playing like out in ring because that mm-hmm. game be like geeking sometimes. So I'm like, yeah. oh, bro, I'm gonna like, give me one second. So I just had to like <laughs> give me that, one second. <laughs> so I had to like that stay and I'm just like, alright, it's time to go like in. So like I try to incorporate it into like because it takes like a lot of energy mm-hmm. so like I try to use it only so I try to use it for like music or if like I really okay. need to like really try on really yeah. really try on something because the potential when I actually try really hard is uh, like unbelievable I'll tell you that yeah but you don't want to squander it on just anything it's yeah. gotta be like you're that's cool you're like directing your like your mind and your tool like you're yeah, using it exactly as I'm learning like the power that I have and the capabilities like using it more as a tool and mm-hmm. stuff like that and getting more out of my head and knowing when to use it is, yeah it, it works out that's awesome um I definitely had a question oh you know what perfect oh let me Semi-perfect segue, uh, because on the interview I did with Slim, he mentioned a, I think it, I'm 99.9% sure it was you, had a paranormal experience in the house with his slim stepdad or something and you were smoking and yeah, like yeah okay yeah so, um, can we get your take on that story yeah. and then we'll have some follow-up questions mama reaper don't yell at me i'm sorry <laughs> sorry i mama was just reaper. tripping i you know like to use a little shower trick to turn the hot yep, water yep. on i went in there so this light i mean has been out for like months like yeah. this light has been out for months like and i smoked i finished i walked out the room and that light flickered and stayed on for like 10 seconds Damn. And I had a I had a over I had an overwhelming feeling. I was like, I know exactly who that was, and I know not to do this again. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I I, I that was like one of those experiences. Just like, oh yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. Like, oh, did he tell? When did you interview him? Was uh, it before July fourth of last year? I th- potentially it was either right before, right around that time right. period. So July fourth last year, I remember we was smoking on the roof and shit. We was chucking a football. Okay, Talk, just paranormal experiences in general. Yeah. I looked up, I was like, yo, Slim, what is that? There was two amber, amber colored lights. Like these lights should not have been in the sky. Yeah. Perfect circles, just floating around up there. And I, Slim turned around, he went to go run and get his girlfriend. And one like just zoop, like zoop that way. And the other one like stayed and was like, oh crap, they looking at us. And <laughs> zoop, like, cause Mars was out that night. So like zoop towards like the moon and Mars. That was Damn. Only, like, and I, I was like, bro, those are fucking like UFOs. Like, there's no, I knew what I saw. I knew yeah. exactly what that was. Those were UFOs. Like, Damn. nothing moves like that. The color specifically doesn't make any sense being out there and how low they were. I was just like, fuck, bro. Like, those, Dude, those were nuts. That's insane. Have you, prior to these, have you had any other experiences? To like UFO, like par- UFOs, paranormal, anything. Or was like that light flickering was just like, like you recognized it, but that was your first like introduction like, to. I, I mean, I like recognize because if you think about it like this, past, dead, and future all exist still at the same moment. So right. they're all, no matter, we can't see it, we can't hear it, but it's still like interconnected. We can feel it. So there right. could be things that are here at the same moment, like mm-hmm. just living their lives, but like some like, uh, it's just like weird to describe, but you can like feel like. I get feel presences around, mm-hmm. and like I can tell if they're like negative or like positive. Yeah. And then I can I can't see them, and unfortunately, I, I guess it's like a better thing. But you can like tell. Yeah. And I can like feel. I always get like a feeling here. Like I just get overwhelmed, kind of like anxiety. I know it's like all right, you're not Yo. good, but I'm not gonna like let fear like because they exist off fear. So if they if they if you fear it. Then they're gonna become stronger, and, mm-hmm. and then there's like the positive ones, like I said, the high vibrational ones. Like, right. Like, it's like you can see like a shine of light and the void, and just like I, I, I remember though. I remember I woke up with one of my ex girlfriends one time. Yeah. Um. I remember there was this overwhelming feeling like something was looking at us. Mm-hmm. There was it was like undescribable. And I could just see, like, there was a woman, a beautiful woman, like, very majestic with an owl on her shoulder. Yeah. And, like, she had, like, a tiara, like, a corset or whatever. Mm-hmm. And she had, like, a white dress and stuff. And I was like, 
I don't know what that feminine energy was, but I couldn't like pick yeah. it up. But there was like something definitely like looking over, and it was like really interesting. Damn. Yeah. Would you ever think about what that is or what that was? I, I think he looked into it. It was one of the like Greek goddess. I can't remember what it was. Damn. I was thinking it was like Minerva, not Minerva, um, Athena. Like I had okay. a feeling it was like Athena, but it didn't like the match owl up with like interesting. The, it didn't match up with like the owl or right, anything right. with her. So I was just like, huh. So I can't remember which one. Like I ended up. Maybe the kid it was, but it was just some sort of like Greek god or majestic woman yeah. figure showing itself that. that yeah. Uh, that was really. Is that why you left the girl for the majestic figure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Um, yeah. have you been always like tapped into feeling this type of thing, even from like a little yeah, kid? Yeah, yeah. So, um, when I like really got into this stuff, like my boyfriend, dude, mm -hmm. like he was on like that stuff too. So uh, I went up to him. I was like, D dude, have you ever heard of an indigo child? It's people. It's like oh, that, I've I've heard of that. Yeah, and it was like when all this stuff was like new and stuff to me, and it was like children who like experience and see the world and feel things in like different ways than common people do. Because mm -hmm. I was and it was just like bro, like because we was like we had like a connection. We have like a connection. Like we could like speak on this shit. It's just like crazy. And yeah, we had a sync dream one time, believe it or not. So I don't. It's just like weird, but like you want to share a dream. Huh? You wanna share the dream? All right. So we was like in the trailer park, and it was this like, is like you guys had the same dream. Uh, he, t I, that's what he told me. He was like, it's kind of crazy. So okay, he's more or less he described it. So he was like walking, and then we like ran up the hill. It was like a bunch of helicopters and police. I don't know. This like, is popular. in the dream. You ran up yeah, the hill. Yeah. Into the, okay. It was like some hill, and then all we like looked at each other. It was like, all right, you ready? And then like had to like dip off, and like we woke up. That's he described it as like more or less the same. So. Mm -hmm. if, Oh, you had the same thing, and you were so. Like, it was oh, like yeah. the, if it's a Saint, that sounds like a Saint dream. He said it was like, like it was like the next day we met up to like yeah. go hit the studio, and like I just I was like, bro, he's like, bro, you serious? Like I had like the same one and shit like that, dude. Like, That's like nuts. So I like looked into like Saint dream, and they are highly possible. So it could have been possible. We like, yeah. but like if two people existing at the same time in the same dream like exist, that is something I I don't know if I can fathom like how. Yeah, I was like. I was like that works so <clears throat> but um shit my fault I got lost no you're good okay I, okay I see okay I remember all right cool um, yeah so I was like all into like the indigo like child and I was like am I like one you, of those you, I was gonna say you feel like one yeah I was like like dude like what is going on and then like taking acid and shit like that and I didn't do it like too heavy yeah like just really like expanded like felt like when you took that you like stepped out of like a giant bubble like, and you're seeing the world from, like, especially looking at the world as an outcast and, like, seeing, like, other people and, like, seeing, like, how they live and, like, thinking a different way. Mm -hmm. Just, like, I was, like, maybe I'm, like, mentally lead. Like, I don't know. Because I was, like, grown. Because I guess I had, like, insecurity problems when I was, like, younger, obviously, like any other mm -hmm. fucking teenager. Yeah, yeah. But, um, like, the way, like, I attracted to people and, like, even, like, how weird I was in high school, people still <laughs> fucked with me. Like, right. I was still, like, highly likable, like, even though I didn't think so. so yeah. So, just, like, huh. So, it was, like, one of those things, like, just mind-bending and, like, the stars and, like, how energy works and all mm -hmm. that. Like, that's, that's based off, like, the little knowledge of, so I'm not, like, no science major or anything. But, right. Like, understanding of, like, science and all that, like, it just just all made like sense in my head like it was the only way to like put together like how i was feeling inside and all that yeah, yeah. that's so interesting and i i've always like maybe not necessarily envy might not be the right word but i've always been interested in that because i feel nothing like i'm so uh out of touch with even sometimes my own intuition but very out of touch with like uh, feelings and things like that and I had I was raised super super Christian and every Sunday I would have to go to youth group and one time in youth group we were talking about uh, demons we were studying demons like week you know a couple weeks thing and we had these two new kids that came to the the Sunday school that day and we're sitting there talking about demons and the one the some girl next to me she goes I feel cold. Something feels wrong. And I was like, what the fuck? And my friend Steve was right next to me. We we're looking at each other like, what the fuck is going on? The new girl starts going like crazy. She turns red as your shirt, falls out of the chair, and other people are like, I feel something. And I was like, me and Steve look at each other like, what the fuck? I feel nothing. I'm just sitting in the chair. She's going ballistic. The pastor's like praying on all of us, like whatever. And we're just like, 
the fuck? I feel nothing. I just feel like we're in the room. Are you faking? Are you whatever? Is it something really going on? Somebody almost like the the dog that like barks before you have a seizure and you're like, I feel fine. And you don't even realize it. Yeah. It was like the girl was like, something's wrong before anything happened. I was like, what the fuck? Like it was a different girl that started. So I've always been intrigued by people that actually feel that because that's like, was I just so numb to it or did something really happen? Was she faking whatever? So very interesting. Um, dream related though, are do you dream every night vivid dreams or it was that was kind of an isolated no, sync I dream have, or like? Um, I have a, uh, before we get into like some of the deja vu and stuff I get. Do you I had deja vu today. Like, you want to have any like questions? Same. But um, I'll just tell you this. Um, let's say this. Um, I do have vivid dreams and I don't consider like even if they're like scary I don't consider them nightmares right it's like there's in like they're kind of like see it was like that was kind of like cool because sometimes looking at that stuff is like cool like, yeah for sure it's like flying and stuff in your dream like yeah lucid dreaming it's like can you not, lucid dream I not like I have well but I have like before like yeah I uh I would tell you this one lucid dream I have okay okay I was, like in some like weird spot kind of like a, some like horror movie ass thing it was like some people I don't know what kind of uh, so I was like in this and then I walked I walked through this doorway because like doorways and like dreams are like portals more or less ah interesting yeah. so I walked in there and I, was, I looked down I was like where the fuck is my shirt what's going <laughs> on so I was like alright I'll be right back I'm gonna go get my shirt I walked through the doorway I stopped and I was like wait I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming and right when that clicked a skull face robed figure popped up from behind like a wall Started backing me down. I didn't know what to do. So I roundhouse kicked it in his face. My leg went through it. And I just woke up. And I remember that vividly. I could see it, too. Physically yeah. see it, too. And I was just like, damn, what the fuck? That was cool. I was like, I just yeah. roundhouse kicked the skull face demon thing. Right. Whatever that was. That was, that was really sick. And... But then deja vu occurs a lot. Like, do you have yours? Is my deja vu is I dream it, and it doesn't make sense in my dream. I can see all the different pieces, and then when it happens, like even today, it was like, exactly. holy shit! Like yeah. three years ago, I had this dream, basically. Some, yeah, exactly. Is that how your deja vu is? You yeah. So of? Um, I was driving up here, and um, saw like this church, this building. I remember sitting at the stoplight. I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, wow. That looks uh quite familiar that's really interesting yeah and all that and i remember this as sometimes as your day goes as you're going through it uh you can like recall pieces of that dream coming like right i remember us setting up the the couch and all that so it makes me wonder a lot like can, if you have an ability to understand and recognize that can you like change like your future outcome of the same event do you know what I'm right. trying to say? Yeah, absolutely. Almost like this is this moment's going to happen and then because you dreamt it, if you can recognize it like, wait, that car or, or something. Or it shit. could be like, if you do recognize your deja vu, it could be like you're on the right path or like and all that or like I yeah. don't know but it's like interesting. I found a four-leaf clover off a of deja vu once. I was like, I had a dream about this. It's right here. Literally that's, pulled a four-leaf clover. That's really interesting. That's... That's like very intriguing too. Like the like interconnections like that, like it's just like mind bending. So like yeah, what they say about deja vu is like, I don't like nah. I've, how I experience it is n no way. How like the science, it's just like a thought. You probably lived it before. And like yeah, duh, I lived it before. I didn't even right. Dream. And to like actually experience it and see it come out is just like yeah, mind boggling for real. Yeah, average night. Full, full on dream, wake up, remember the full dream, or are you Sometimes kind of like- I don't. Usually the dreams I do have are like super vivid. Like my dreams are vivid regardless when I dream. So yeah. They're like really oh, always awesome, I love. Yeah. I love the dream realms, very intriguing. But I never really like explore too heavy and like lucid dreaming because I heard it's like bad for your mind. Like okay. if you like think about it, like as I was saying, how it's all interconnected. If you think about like these games and animes, how they have different realms of things. Mm -hmm. Like, so you have like the astral plane, which is like the dream realm basically. And that can affect, cause dreams have an effect on your reality that we live in here. For sure, yeah. So if you're like in there and you're not supposed to be like meeting these things in there, that can start oh. messing up. Your subconscious is key. You ever heard of like Carl Jung and all that? Yeah, like, yeah. We're all like interconnected in our subconscious and all that. And yeah. So it's like that could start affecting your subconscious very negatively if you like. Almost like it follows you like out exactly, of that thing type exactly. shit. Exactly. Like it breaks like the barrier that was that lies between dreaming and reality. Damn. Yeah. Okay. 
I have I have lucid dreamed two times where I controlled the dream. The one I took three steps, ended up in sleep paralysis. That sucked. But the other time, I, I was the avatar. Like no, I was watching a lot of it, and I was like literally moving ships of battleships were attacking me, and I was bending everything. That was the only time I've ever controlled it. But every night, I am me in my dream. I'm. It's maybe not as vivid as this, like full on whatever, Mm -hmm. but I walk, I talk, I speak, whatever I would really do, I'm really doing it. Is that how yours is as well? Like you're kind of, okay. Yeah. You know, like those little ones where like you, you, sometimes you get into fights and you're just like, "Ah." yeah, yeah. Like, like when gravity like no longer exists or like this really strong gravity, like all that stuff is weird. Like. I don't think we look into dreams enough because we just pass them off as like a nighttime thing. But yeah, it's got to This is definitely something more beyond dreams. Like all the like, it's like we, because ex- it's all in your head. Believe that, in it, but but even I feel like this stuff is in my head too. I can't it, perceive exactly, this without my head either. Exactly, and it's like because if you take away your eyes, you no longer can perceive this is here unless you have like your touch and all that. Right. So like you can only perceive what you think it is based off just how you feel and yeah what it is so it's all it works all the same like way like this, yeah this, the thought of like creating your own reality like you, know, you perceive it is how it's gonna come right yeah i forget how, what my question was but when you mentioned sync dreams do you ever have i guess dreams with other people living and or dead and it's like i don't know sometimes i'll wake up and it's like i just i don't even it's like, I haven't seen this person in five years, but we just hung out last night, like in real, like it felt real. Even sometimes I'll have like my grand, my dead grandfather visited me one time. And we were just like talking and like, I can't remember maybe the literal words, but like, uh, would you say, if you had that, would you say that's a sync dream? Was that something? That's, I, I guess different? technically you can, cause at that point, like if like, there's a lot of people that do meet like past loved ones in their dreams mm-hmm. and that means like they're probably like traversing to you specifically to let you know like they're still looking down if you have like casual yeah. conversations with them like you're actually awake it's just you guys literally having a ca- casual conversation yeah just connected on that plane just or something on that plane exactly yeah because exactly. you can't like more or less can't do it here so exactly. the dream realm is like the the key to it yeah because I'll it'll feel so real to me and I'll text I'll be like yo like you were in my dream last night, like, oh, like, okay, so maybe it wasn't you, you, but it was like, it felt oh, just as real. Yeah. Yeah. They, like, had the form of themselves, like, the consciousness kind of, like, there. Yeah, that's like, a good like, way to put it. Part of their consciousness is there with it, or how you, whatever you perceive them, it's like, and then their physical form, like, arises and all that, so it's Yeah, like, absolutely. Um, Man, that, that was super interesting. I'm trying to think of anything else dream-wise. Maybe we'll, we'll come back to it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do a, a soft shift before I forget. What happened to your glasses? We got two uh, puppies. Uh, Mast- okay. English Mastiff puppies. I fell asleep one night. And the, <laughs> I think they, like, fell on the ground. And, like, they, like, bit it. And, oh, and, like, damn. So, yeah. Okay. And I was like, I was too lazy to order. So I could just order some. And I was like, right. I ain't tripping. It crazy. looks cool. It looks like it's like you talking about being a mysterious person. It's like, what happened to his glasses? Yeah, I gotta everybody, know. Everybody like, seems to like it though. So I'm just like, whatever. It's got character for yeah, sure. Exactly. And they're cool glasses without the like, you know, chip or whatever. But yeah. Okay. Um, so how did, cause you mentioned some of the people that were in the, the trailer park that you grew up, that you kind of linked with Frander and some of the other ones forgot their names. Sorry, everybody. Um, how did you link with, I guess, what made you come from Maryland to Ohio? And then how did you link with Slim? And was that part of it? All right. So, um, as Slim mentioned, he described the story and like how he got an AOC and all mm-hmm. that. So, um, we all met up a lot, like, uh, New England boy or PDX, whatever you, and yeah. most of the AOC members from all over, man, like from Philly and all that. We all got together like a lot in Baltimore for real. Mm-hmm. Slim came, drove down from Ohio and all that. Okay. So we all linked up, made fire music. Yeah. And then uh, Slim uh, we, Slim offered us to come out there to see him. We was all like, let's, let's switch it up. Go out yeah, there to yeah. the big house and stuff like yeah. that. So um, yeah, we all went out there, had a sh- show out in Kent, Ohio. Okay. Uh, at the Euro Gyro. That, we have a recap on YouTube. Hey. Uh, you guys want to see it? Yeah, send me a link. I'll put a link in the description. Yeah, cool. Um, 
But that was really cool. Like everybody came from Maryland, more or less. Everybody yeah. came up there. It was a fun time. I'll tell you that. They rocked with us out here. The energy, man. That whole video, you can see the pits and all that. Yeah. And that they they rocked with us. They they all like really respected it. It's like a lot more alternative people out here. Yeah. As I noticed, so they like respect this kind of music and stuff too more mm -hmm. out here. So. Um, yeah, and then we had a couple more shows, and then I was not liking where I was living at my mama's crib. Okay. Back. So I was just, like, living on the couch. I have no job. I didn't know where to go. No yeah. No or nothing. And then Slim was, like, I thought it was, like, a joke at first. His mom and Slim, like, offered, like, when are you moving up here? And I was, like, oh, maybe sometime. Huh? Yeah, yeah. And then, like, I just, we had another show out here. I think it was, like, a Halloween show. Okay. I just, like, packed up, and I was just, like, I'll try it out. Yeah. So I uh, ended up moving in, and I'm here two and a half years later. Hell uh, yeah. Making probably the best music ever, enjoying doing all these shows. Speaking of that, got, I'm not sure what this is, but we have a show coming up on the 14th, too. Ooh, okay. Performing is just, like, something else. Like, yeah. all the opportunities I had out here, all the people I met out here. It, it's been fun. Like, never would have met you if it didn't come out here. So right. it helped me, like, find myself as a whole. Came out here, I was, like, 22. That's, like, a rough time for, like, because okay. you don't know what the fuck anybody Right, does. exactly. So, so like, then as I grew and like got the support, like the love and gave me like some belief in myself and I was just like, yeah, and just yeah. It allowed me to be more like free and independent to like a bigger hole than I was before, which is like right. what I really needed. Like, and that really helped. And yeah. I love Mama Reaper and Slim and Taylor Hell and yeah. all them and uh, Slim's family and for bringing me in. Especially out here, I do miss and love my, my fools all the way back in Maryland, man. Like, I can't wait to... Fran is going to be up here soon. Hell so, yeah. Uh, it's going to be cool to kick it with him and shit like that. And hopefully we can get some more guys up here. But yeah, I know there's some like shit going down I can't really like speak on because I've been out here. Man, I just hope everything works out. Yeah. I want to go talk to my boys and stuff. There was... um. But, hey, it's all fun out here, for real. Yeah. Enjoyed all the time I've had out here. It's been a like, bunch of cool spots, and food out here has been good. What's the uh, best yeah. food out here? What's your favorite food that you've had? Ohio food. <laughs> no, bro. There's, like, so much, like, Dickies. Because where I used to live, it was all, like, big, like, corporate, like, places. Like, McDonald's. Oh, uh, like, okay. All those, like, big. There's, like, no local Johns. Like, Damn, near okay. Where I lived. So, it was all, like. Yeah, so there's all the chains. Yeah, when it came out here, it's like endless, yeah. endless like family-owned, independent like <laughs> restaurants. Yeah. And so, so I found like Dickies has been like really good. I had Skyline. Where's Dickies at? Yeah, there's one in Medina, but I, there's one they like moving in some like barbecue place, which is like, uh, actually okay. there's like one in Maryland. I can't lie, but it wasn't like anywhere near. It. Right. Uh, but like really family-owned has Skyline. And oh, since we went up there recently. Hell like, yeah. Dude, this is sick. This shit was so good. Yeah. The pizza out here is pretty fire. It's Can't got the lie. best pizza. I'm on a mission. Right now, Master's Pizza by far has the best pizza Master's I know. Master's Pizza? Yeah, they have okay. the best pizza. What's that? Hungry Howie's or something? Hungry Howie's is pretty nice. This is fire. I yeah, like yeah. That place. All this they got all the cool there. crust type shit. Yeah, that shit's tough. Yeah. Um. What else is out here? Where is Master's Pizza? There's. I'm Don't say Medina. There's one in Madonna. I know there's like more around maybe. Okay. I have no clue, but just based off like my local area, like this. Yeah. The best I have around. Well, if you're only like 30 minutes tops ish from like here. 20, 20, okay. 20, 25 if I take the highway. Yeah. You know, like, I come out to Akron occasionally to hit like Highland Square. Mm -hmm. That's been like my favorite spot to do like karaoke. Yeah. Like, if I can't like perform all the time, at least practice singing like in front of people and singing right. my favorite songs and all that. So, like, I'm meant to entertain people. I go to these places. I always, people come up and be like, man, your voice is, like, you're yeah. doing so good, like, and all that. And so, it's just, like, people love it. So, it's just, it's a yeah. good way to, and I practice at work a lot. Okay. we have, like, a, we get a car wash. Mm -hmm. We have, like, a tunnel. Yeah. So, it's, like, really Oh, that's dope. Key. So, I, uh, I sing loud as, I don't know what. I'm sorry to all my coworkers, <laughs> but... I be having fun the best I can there. I love them over there. It's like yeah. So shouts out to them. Hell yeah! And actually, Fantasia, you're like on fire with the segues here. So uh, I was gonna ask you, kind of growing up young, who is Greg Jones? Were you like the entertaining kid where you're like, hey, everybody, look at me. I'm gonna put on a show type stuff, or was that I think you I, develop it later? I think I wanted. I always wanted that. Like I guess I was like, you like young. Like you envy the people who like or who you really want to be at first a little bit but not like envy just like but then as I grew it was just like 
right, it's just like if I want to like be like that, just like find who I like really am and be mm-hmm. true to myself. And as I grew, I was like people really attract me like really easily. And sometimes I'm like out of it. I'm just like, oh, but I still like keep the conversation yeah, going yeah. and all that. Like and all that because people enjoy talking and like putting smile on people's faces. I'm like mm-hmm. goofy and like clumsy and shit so I always get a laugh out of people somehow yeah. but like not even like on my own will it just happens like, right so right like, laugh along then like performing and all that and people like to come up and be like man like your energy is like unmatched for real just, right like, yeah appreciate that and yeah all that. So, so you like, were like even younger kid you were like hey uh, like the entertaining person whether you're like yeah. purposely doing it or not yeah it's just like i always like entertain myself too like i always like envision myself <sighs> sure. like because i had like the guitar and i was listening to like all that pop punk and all that so you just sit there and like play my guitar like might have not been the note i acted like i was like playing it but i just like doing the notes the best right right and like singing them like loud as hell and shit like that so i was just like man i really like want to do this then i started getting opportunities and i was like Man, I've been doing this forever, so, like... Yeah. So, uh, what... How did you get introduced to, like, punk and music and stuff like that? And then what were some of the... What were some, like, the bands and, and punks, pop punks and stuff that you were listening to? All right, so I got into Tony Hawk Pro Skater. That was a Life shit. Life-changing. Don't, don't make, like, that's where I got, like, the ska and all that yeah. stuff. I was like, this stuff is fucking awesome yeah. like bro and here's like, so many different versions yeah. genres and all it's that's like, all great I was like this shit is fire bro like oh my goodness and under like as i said it went down the rabbit hole so you piss off at the authority and government so you hear right. all these 80s and 90s punk stars singing about mm-hmm. the same stuff that's going on nowadays <laughs> yeah, and just like yeah. shit ain't changed just like oh fuck authority like <laughs> yeah, all that? yeah that and this and i just like yeah being i was always wanted to be like a little punk kid i was always influenced by like the fashion and 90s hip-hop fashion okay so like i try to like so that's why i got these i always wanted like some pants like this oh, hell yeah i always had like um african-american hair so i never got to like do liberty spikes or oh anything, okay. i always wanted that yeah so then i was like all right i'm gonna get dreads one day so i just let my hair grow out so i can like headbang and all yeah, that yeah yeah it's like fun and shit like this so Hell yeah. yeah. So who were uh, who were some of I guess Influence, top yeah influences top influence. people you listen yeah. to yeah. So back when I was in like high school, Green Day was my shit and Blank. Yeah. Dookie is like one of my favorite albums ever. Oh yeah. Like I love that album so much. But and Tom DeLonge's voice was like something else, bro. Like For I, sure. I tried to like mimic a high tone like that. <laughs> Even though I have like a deep voice too, so I can yeah. try to like practice the high range if I need to. And who else we had? We had like Bones and mm-hmm. Xavier Wharf back in there. The whole SoundCloud scene back then. Right. Like Raider Clan and all that. Like back then, like OG SoundCloud stuff. Yeah. Three Six, obviously. Coops mm-hmm. to Nicka and all that shit. Like, yeah. That shit was fire. And Goth Boy Click was like popping at that time and mm-hmm. all that. But as I grew, I, I really wanted to be in a band. Yeah. Like, I've always wanted to. I like the energy of live instruments and mm-hmm. all that. So my um I had this one homie named Antonio. Shouts out to him, bro. I ain't forget, bro. I still love this. <laughs> Shouts out Antonio. It was um Um We started this group named Two Parents. We both played guitar and we liked <laughs> music a lot. So he was like it was cool because like he played guitar like really well and mm-hmm. like and shit like that so he showed me like a lot of like post-punk music yeah which like really like i like it's more like artsy music and as i've mm-hmm. grown like slow dive and all that yeah and all them people like really started hitting the heart like way more like the atmospheric like mm-hmm. once i really started hearing that i was like dude i want to like make stuff like this right right so like as i incorporated my like own style of playing guitar over time i liked having like I played a lot of like open chords when mm-hmm. I do play guitar stuff. They like start drowning into each other into like one beautiful like thing. Right. So I was just I loved like the belting of like there's this band name I hate myself. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. So good. Yeah. They, like belted on like this songs. I was like this is so sick. And this one band named Mom Jeans was like mm-hmm. really good. Love Their Mom energy Jeans. is like cool. I was like this is what I like want to do like really high tone like fast playing like punk style stuff or like mm-hmm. emo stuff with like lyrics that are like really high energized and flow well right so i've always wanted to do that so we we eventually like rented like a like 
studio and stuff to mm-hmm. like make some like rock music it's yeah kind of had like a pool table that place was dope yeah like, i'll never forget about that place so we we've a we released uh, a couple songs. There's this one called Why. You can find that. Okay. It's like really some OG shit. And yeah, we used to jam. We jammed out. We took like a hit of acid and hell yeah. Did, made this like one fucking fire banger. He sent me it the other day. I'm gonna go listen to yeah. it. Yeah. But I reincorporated it. This riff that I've been working on had for so long because I liked it. Reincorporated it for a song. For my tape that's coming, I've been working on. So I'm trying Hell to. Oh yeah. So all my influences and stuff I really wanted to make leads up to like this tape that I'm doing my best to like make as true to rock stuff as possible. Stuff yeah. that I wanted to do. So I, I kept this riff for my one boy named Lachlan. He mm-hmm. dude, he's awesome. Like he he's so talented. I hope he knows that. Yeah. And like we made like this fire instrument. I still have to figure out like how I want to like take this song. So it was like one of those I have to finish up, and. Uh, Slim and I made this really good one that allowed me to belt and yell mm-hmm. like how I always wanted to. Then I have this, uh, my interlude is really special to me. Okay. So this is a uh, person, I probably shouldn't say this, but oh yeah, so this is like, it, this song will come out, but like this person, like true to my heart, no matter like the complications, like if something like happens one day, like that would be awesome. It's fucking, it was like this secret that I, we had we hold between us that uh-huh. we can't like say anything about it because it could fuck shit up like badly. yeah so like we just like whatever just let it pass so i had to like let it out one day ah uh, like, okay i was like and I, this riff i came up because i wrote it at work uh, i wrote the um lyrics at work but then i went home tried to like play it i ended up with like this whole different riff Ah, uh, and okay. i was like wow this is gorgeous like yeah and then i switched the words up a little bit and ended up like being like really sick yeah and i was like all right this is gonna like definitely go on my tape so can we get a song title to look out for when the tape comes out yeah secret of ours secret of ours yeah. oh, you guys okay. want a little preview i have like a 30 second clip but i'll keep it out okay but um yeah secret of ours is gonna be one of my favorites left our hearts at home is gonna be that's 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 out currently it's a single from it okay and i have to write up my like in a loop not my in a loop my intro for the t- tape so this album yeah. is like it's kind of like my first one, so it's like I was gonna trying ask, to like yeah. experience like playing and actually jotting all this like playing live instruments, like, yeah, and bringing it together. So the next time I do make another album like this, it's gonna be like even like more extraordinary when like I make like this shit. So yeah, yeah. so you have people playing like live instruments, like uh, maybe not live, but you have people playing instruments on this this project. So. Um, I just played more or less like the songs I have more or less is like me on the guitar but we like it's kind of hard to get like a drummer access but if I could I play no, drums just so you know oh you, you play to... drums we're so gonna have to talk someday we'll, we'll talk right, yeah. we'll talk For actually sure. we'll definitely talk real soon yeah like, I didn't want to can... invite myself into like the band or whatever but I definitely play drums like, so. like live drummer like we figure out how this works I'll play like a riff yep. and we'll jam out see what can happen absolutely because if you draw we're definitely gonna talk hell I'll be, yeah I'll be so down to jam out one look day. at this everybody yeah. magic happening <laughs> I, I, that would be so fun and like we could definitely definitely create something somehow like yeah. but more or less like um, just computerize the drums more okay. like, I have like I understand like the drums I need to hear so like I can yeah. like map it out pretty well on the computer which I right. which I like did on like one of them so yeah it like works out but if i can get like a live drum on there too that'd be sick absolutely so I can into like making another like high energy song for yeah the album. Like, might as well just keep throwing shit on there i don't even care like right because i guess like this like i want it it's so like true and like gotta get all these inspirations if i can get like real drums on there i'll be like fucking right because it would be real fun like yeah it's like a dream to like actually have a fully recorded song like this so for sure yeah so a couple of interesting questions. Uh, so, first kind of album tape stuff like that. What was, what what made you say okay, I'm ready to do that? Versus, because I lo- I was trying to find all your music and I was like, it looks like a lot of singles, but maybe I'm missing something. So it was like single, 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 and you're like, okay, it's time for a one consist like one collective project. Or like, well, how did that? How did you decide that now I'm ready? Uh, the the inspiration is like I guess some of the songs I made like when I made Colorless Angel I was like okay I'm <laughs> definitely making this fucking tape and then I had this one beat I had with Lachlan too I was like I can sing over that too mm. and it just kept coming together and yeah uh, there's one song I made with Slim Left Our Hearts at Home I was like this is 
going even then I wrote the the intro, it just started all coming, then Secret of Ours, I was like this is the interlude is so perfect. So I was just like, all right, I definitely just started know. coming together. Yeah, it all came together and I was okay. like, yeah, hell yeah, let's get this. Let's get this going. I really want to get this like it's yeah. really fun. And then uh what's this other song? Colorless Angel though, there's going to be an alternative version with Slim and Taylor Ooh. on it. So it's gonna be like the full version. So it's gonna be really cool. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a bonus track. That's gonna be really sweet. That's sick. dope. I'm gonna take one real quick detour because I, I had a question and this is the perfect time to answer. Go ahead. In the video that you just dropped with Slim. Scumbag, yo. Yes. Go run that up, please. Run that up. I'll put link in the in description. Uh, the fire spinner was that Slim's girl or is yes, that? Yes, it was. That is okay. Her. Yeah, okay. she um she did like flow and stuff back in the day and stuff. So she's spinning ah. fire. And like, stuff is like dope. I can't. Lie. Yeah, it was like so cool. I was like, I wonder if this is her or if they hired somebody to like nah. spin fire. But it was super dope. I was like, yo, okay, that's sweet. Okay, so back back on track. So uh, prior to that, it just you it was like I'm making a song, but it never it didn't fall into place like that. And you're just like I'll just keep it's making music. Like, I made like fun stuff like. I I like rapping, mm -hmm. but I like singing and playing on my guitar more because that's what I grew up more on. As yeah. much as I like it, if I'm gonna make some like rap shit, I don't want like some like bar like cool like punchlines and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have like that full potential to like fully map the. Right but now, like recently, like I don't mean I had this one like I'm a rocker. I'm gonna have to rock a fella like Dame Dash. I was like, bro, where did you come from? And the recent <laughs> one like with um. My boyfriend and Slim, the other one, Wrath of Divine. Yeah. I was, um, I was thinking, like, teach the pussy boys, don't make the God go berserk, and feel yeah. the Wrath of Divine Armageddon. Like, I was naming magic cards off. I'm not even <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this could be hard, like, Wrath of Divine Armageddon. And, yeah. Like, shit. Hell yeah. Like, so, like, I was just like... Some Easter eggs here. That's awesome. Uh, and I, so, I guess... Did you start off doing more of the sing stuff, but then you're like, oh, I also fuck with Bones and Slim Raps, I'm gonna rap too? Or do you kind of, uh, yeah, go ahead. I was already rapping before. Slim did come like later. I think yeah. it came around 2016, 2017. I was already rapping. Like, I had like pro skating and all that, like all that hype stuff. Right, I right. Make, making like hype stuff. Like, you know, X was back then and I was rapping a little bit, but I didn't have like my voice yet and like the flow mm. was like, different and all that so like i wasn't too confident on it so it didn't always like sound good yeah but then like i was like well, i was just like sometimes it be, i need the beat to be like because if sometimes the beat don't hit like i can know like off rip like all right this beat i can like kill like extra hard right so right can, like develop different flows and like different voices or like layovers that would like mm -hmm. really like drown out well with the the instrumental itself because i yeah. believe like it adds a lot more energy if you like Work you work with the beat itself too. Right, right. Like use the different voices and stuff like that. So yeah. Then then, uh, funk stuff. Like I was inspired. This Dead Reaper Society came from. Hey, I was like, I'm yeah. gonna go find some funk. Like and I got that and I was like, yeah, let's get this because Coops and Nick was just rocking in my ear right. for like a month. So I was just like, yeah, I gotta make some stuff like this. Yeah. So. Who is Greg Jones is a, I don't want to say like, are you a rapper? Are you an artist? Is it like, is there part of you that's like, I want to make a rap tape or I want to make rap songs? Or it, if you didn't have to ever rap again for like, I don't want to say seriously, but like you would be more full band singing, like that type of shit. Or is who is Greg Jones both? Just, like it, just I guess it's both because I do enjoy doing both. So like yeah. sometimes it depends on how I'm feeling. Like usually if I'm doing the singing stuff, that's more of like coming from the heart and like I really want to express, bring all like energy and emotions to it. Yeah. So like that's when like live inch because I can make the riff on my own and I don't right. do, like I know what I like can sing on here and I know like my voice so I can. And then rap is just like fun. Like you talk about shit you don't even do in real life. Like, yeah. Fuck it. Like, um, just, like, for fun, like, just get some rage out, too. It helps, like, right. get some rage out. So, it's, like, so I do enjoy both, like. Yeah. Because especially, like, a nice heart. I don't know how to describe it, but, like, anything I can, like, go super raspy and deep and, like, yell a little bit. That stuff be, like, Yeah. Fun. I do want to do some, like, boom bap, like, straight, like, lyrics. Like, some bars, some yeah. Some bars, like, conscious stuff one time. But those yeah. are kind of hard to write. I'm not even finna lie to you. Yeah, like, yeah. Trying to be poetic and stuff like that. Because Wu-Tang, man. It's just mm -hmm. hearing RZA, Jizza, and yeah. Wu-Tang Killers and all that shit. And that stuff is, it just, like, inspires you. And, like, 
shit's crazy, man. Those guys' yeah. flows and those their bars and the words they use were just unlike anybody else, bro. Absolutely. That, especially as a group. Yeah. yeah so, uh, the album project coming out, are we, is there going to be kind of a nice mix? All, maybe not 50-50, but there is going to be some bangers, some rap, some, like, instru- not instrumental, but some, like, singy band type stuff is it going to be everything together or is it going to be primarily more of one no primarily more of like stuff i've always wanted to create okay. so like that's where the the band stuff like the singing and all that and shit like that would have yeah stuff, just, a beautiful voice and i just want to i just want to sing you got, everyone's got to hear it everyone uh, yeah i just want to yeah. like pop it off and so i'd rather do that because stuff i want to make true to me for mm-hmm. the most part always something i always wanted to do so yeah and i have like the experience and like the confidence to do it and just i would do that so i do want to make a rap album one time i don't know how that's gonna pull out maybe yeah like some like ep of like bangers i collected from making over time and stuff right like that, so yeah and it's cool you can kind of do both you've already proven like i could do this i could do this and then you get to decide and it's mm-hmm. it's kind of nice like uh I don't know the <laughs> the Long John Silver's was the Taco Bell in the one building, and it's like, yo, you could get whatever you want. It's yes, it's dude. cool. And I like that you've blended. I could. It's cool. You said punk and then bones and like the those branches off of those two things. I was like, every every song I listened to is like both of those styles came to mind, and not too many people are doing that or doing it well of blending punk and rap at the same time. Yeah. So super dope. I'm gonna check the video real fast just to make sure it's going. <laughs> no worries. It's like one of those, if I check the video, it's always perfect. If I was like, it's probably fine. Nope, video just <laughs> dipped. So we're good. Cool. Um, what's, did you already say the name of the album? The name of the project? I'm still, I think I, which I think it was, um, I remember my, uh, my one good friend, Joey Smokes from back home, his girlfriend did like a tarot reading and there was this one that stuck out. He was the child I always wanted to be or something like that. Ooh. Something like that. So it's kind of like, um, yeah, so as a kid, I always wanted to make like stuff like this and right. actually coming to be. So something like that, like a, okay. a journey or some shit like that. So like, yeah, that's where Colorless Angel came from and stuff like that. It was mm-hmm. one of the tarot cards. So Oh, like, okay. Gosh, that's, a, that's a card? So, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. It might have like changed the name or something, but mm-hmm. yeah. So just okay. like, yeah, that shit is dope. That's dope. Um... I'm going to shift gears for a second. Go ahead. Let's do... Let's do anime. All right. Let's go... Top, like favorite anime... What are you watching currently? Favorite anime? And we'll go from there. All right. Recently, I have, like, fallen out of anime. Because, like, there's, like... I have to be, like... I like ones with, like, super, like, intricate, deep, and, like, dark stories. Like, yeah, nowadays. yeah. So, like, most of them are low-key, so I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, like, yeah, I like... <laughs> uh, but, um, let's see, my top, I'm gonna, I guess I can go top five. Yeah, you... Not in any order. Right, you don't have to even limit order. to five if it's uh, three, ten, whatever, but... So, Bleach. Bleach? Bleach is Full Metal Alchemist. Ooh, regular or brotherhood, or brotherhood, doesn't matter. Brotherhood. Bro- good answer. Um, You're gonna almost have to end the interview early. <laughs> <laughs> Feel that you know I got throw Naruto up there because sure. that, that shit had me down. J- JJK is fire. Jujutsu Kaisen. Okay. Oh man, I I think I missed the opportunity to see the movie. Unfortunately, uh, but okay. uh, that one is fire. It's just like a current one. I haven't picked up any. What's that? What's that new one with that guy named Mikey? It's like some like middle schoolers that are in like biker gangs. Oh some guy, man! Like, time travels. I feel like I know what you're talking about, Bruh. but I can't think of the name either. Tokyo Revengers or something like that. I yeah. pretty almost positive that's what it is. Yeah, that shit is tough, bro. I was like, bro, these kids are just like getting merged like out the ass, bro. Like, yeah. Like, middle school, like what is going on? That shit's tough. It's kind of like a current one. Just waiting for JJK and Bleach to come back for real. So, yeah. Like, but what else is there? What else have I seen? Obviously, like Death Note and all that. Hunter mm-hmm. x Hunter is pretty good. Yeah. Um, you seen My Hero Academia? No, I didn't. I have not. I've seen a few episodes, but I didn't get too heavy into that. Okay. Um, that was a good one. It was one of my probably my top recent ones. So I've been like Attack on Titan. I feel like it's best out right yeah, now. Just tough. I almost call it. So I forget who we're talking. I think it was a spooky interview. We're talking best cereal Reese's Puffs undisputed like you can have a favorite but this is we all agree this is the best cereal I was like that's the Attack on Titans the Reese's Puffs of like anime in my opinion at least yeah. everything else is like I might like Naruto more or something else more but like pff, can't touch uh, Attack on Titan but my hero up there um, anything else that you've been I, what? Akira is hella cool 
the movies. Cure Fantastic. Movie, yeah. Like the cyberpunk S stuff. Like yep. the, Oh man. Um I can't think of most of them at the top of my head anymore. Oh, uh, what is it? Magic, Magic, Medola, Magica, or something like that. Oh man, Loki, I, I, Medola, I know what you're talking about. Madoka too. Magica, or something like that. That's yeah. That, that one was insane. I was like, bro, this is so fucking cool. Like the ending to that was sick. I was yeah. like, this is a sick ass anime. I don't think I finished that one honestly, but I'll oh, the one. ending is sick. Okay, that, I might that have to go like, back. Really sick, yeah. I know, like the art style is like weird, but if you like watch it like as a whole and like what it really is, it's yeah, it, it's really it's really dope. I can't lie about that. Yeah, and I like weird art style stuff too. So it's like sometimes I that's what I appreciate about anime and, and just kind of animation in general. It's yeah. like you can you can only do so much with live action, but anime it's like pff, so many different things, different art styles, drawing styles. Yeah, I know the Boondocks. You can consider it anime. I would the, the creator anime. of the Boondocks actually was he grew up like around where like ten minutes. From where I like Oh for real? Really. Yeah So it's kind of like sick Like Any of that stuff is That's like cool. dope Yeah 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 And they uh Oh so I was gonna ask, So I guess Uh If you <laughs> I was gonna try to make a bleach question I guess would you be Soul Reaper Quincy Or Rencar? What What would I pick? Rencars are like dope But they're like man made Like they're like all fucked. Like, yeah. Uh, so I guess I would be a Soul Reaper. Soul like, Reaper? Yeah, it'd be like dope. Yeah. yeah. It'd be cool. I feel like that's cooler than Quincy. Quincy's yeah. still cool, but yeah, Soul Reaper for sure. Pose, but like, I mean, I'm weird as sword, so I feel like it's way cool. I can like flash yeah. that and shit like that. So. Yeah. <laughs> you ever weird. think about what your, what your Bankai would be? Yeah, it'd have to do something where like, I just like, I don't know if any of them have this. Eisen's might have been like, was like able to like manipulate time with the infinite around. Like, was that what his was? I could never. It was. So, I, it was very we, unclear. We never know. Like, we haven't known. Maybe everybody could have been in his bankai. We don't know. But it would be something where like, his power to like control the infinite with like the swing of the, like the blade, like or something like that. Okay. I don't know how to describe it, but like. Damn, that's that's yeah. a that's a big one. <laughs> yeah, something like that, badass, bro. Yeah. That'd be really sick. Who was your favorite bankai in the show? I think you already mentioned it possibly, oh, but Yakuza, and he's like, uh, Senbon Sakura. Is is and he? That's the blossoms, right? That's the right? blossom. Yeah, yeah that one was so, it's so good. Kageyoshi, whatever. That was like, <laughs> yeah, bro, that is sick. Um, Shusui's Bankai is cool. I think he like dual wielded. And he had, like Yo. a pistol or something like that too. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's her name? The leader of the the healing squad was. She had a cool one. I forget which one hers was. Uh, was hers it? wasn't the the curved one, was it? The middle, not the Bankai, I guess, but that middle form. It's like the curved one. It's like yeah. the six of them. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. She was like dope. Um, I guess as I'm playing it back in my head, I don't know that we've seen, or maybe I haven't seen so many Bankais. We only see a handful. Hitsugaya is so dope. I can't yeah. lie about that. Yeah, What's yeah. his name? Ukiyor? He is one of the most badass Iran cars in that show. He was he was so fucking. Which cool. one was him? He was the the, is he the, the main the, dude the with pale, the black hair. The the black one and the he's like really pale and he like talks like, um yeah and yeah nonchalant and stuff like that. And Ichigo like went into his uh hollow form because mm -hmm. he like more or less killed him. Yeah. And like he stabbed uh, uh Uryu, uh in the stomach when he was in that form and stuff like that. Yeah. And then he like Ichigo murked Ukiyor <laughs> like he just like. Oh my god, that was nuts. That yeah. was such a cool ass fight. Absolutely. Oh Actually, great question. Favorite anime fight? I might say pick a different one besides that one, but it, if there is already a different one than that. And you can take a second to think about it. I'm even trying to think of what would I pick in, in mind. I don't even know, bro. There's so many like, <laughs> cool ones. Oh my god. If you don't have one, that's fine. I was like, I didn't, as I said, I was like, oh, that's probably a huge ass question. If you've actually really watched anime, there's like, yeah, it, that's really tough. It's like, especially from like Dragon Ball to Naruto and all, it's like one too many. Even uh, Brotherhood has a couple really yeah, good ones too. This was crazy for Bradley at the end type. Yeah. Like, oh man, too many cool ones, man. This, uh, I don't know which one. I know the pain fight was kind of cool in Naruto. Oh, for the sure. The Eisen fight between Bleach and. Sorry, Ichigo <laughs> and Aizen was really cool. Yeah. Um, well, say so leave a comment. It. What's your favorite anime yeah, fight? Leave us, leave us a, a comment here. Let's get it. Um, all right. Uh, anything? Any other good animes that uh, I should check out? That we should check out? Maybe a uh, one that you were just like, oh, this is not maybe super mainstream, but I found this and I really liked it. And if you don't have anything, totally fine. 
was this? I have not remembered half the animes I've watched, <laughs> like, over time. It was, like... Sometimes they have super Japanese names, and I can't. I'm like, it's that one where they're doing, like, that thing, and it's, like, whatever, and they're like, you mean, it's whatever? It's like, maybe? I don't know, but, like, I have no clue. Okay. Like, I know some of the anime games, like, I could recommend more, like, Persona 5. If, uh, if no way, if, Persona 5? If you haven't played that yet, everybody should play that. Like, For sure. This is, like, one of those cool things, but, like... Uh, the anime games too, like fun, like Final Fantasy and all that. Like, yeah, that's yeah. That's like where all the fun is and all that. So, but rec- anime wise, I don't know. Like, I'm pretty sure most people watch all the ones that I have. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. I always ask people just kind of like what's uh, because it is it is easy to get. I don't know. I don't want to say rapid. It's like a, not a bad thing, but yeah. just like to stick to like the popular ones because they're popular because they're really good. So yeah. I'm always curious. Is there any ones that uh that I haven't uh, heard of? But, um. If you were not rapping and making music, what would you be doing? Bro, I have no fucking clue. <laughs> a lot of you. Probably be not doing shit. I yeah. Know, man, I don't know where I would be. Might be dead in all honesty <laughs> or doing way too many drugs or something. Interesting. I, I have no okay. clue. Yeah, this is one of the few things that kept me here for the most part, for real. So yeah, I don't know what I would probably work at some like shitty job or something until <laughs> I get bored. I don't know what it would be right yeah. now. Yeah. I mean, Loungy college debt or something, I guess. If I went the <laughs> right path, fuck all that. Um. All right, I'm gonna shift gears for a second. Uh, this was this became. I don't know why I started asking this, but it became one of my uh, more interesting questions that I'm always curious about. Have you ever been in love? Yeah, I have a couple times. A couple times. Yeah. Okay. Then, how did you How did you know? I guess you were in love, or like, what did uh? It just happens, like, over time. Like, it just, it's just, like, one of those things that just comes together. Yeah. Like, when this is, like, the ones that, like, you want to be with, you're just like, damn, like, fuck, bro. We could have, like, a bunch of love. And it's just, like... Yeah. But other than that, yeah, it's been, like, a... You just, like, know, usually, so... And you can, like, tell when you don't, but there's, like, ones, like, you just know. Because now I'm, like... After, like, the experiences, I think people, like... Once they do do that, like, it breaks them down once they, like, lose that, which mm. you have to understand what love is, especially since love is all around us. It works right. the same way as if you was with a significant other. It's, uh, they're going to break your heart just as family does, and it's mm-hmm. going to be pain, and it can end like that in any moment, just like anything right. else in life. It doesn't, if you still have that love for, like, one another, it just, like, holds, like, if that's, like, a common understanding, like, yeah, people should have, especially when it comes to that, so... Yeah, it just it helps like progress, but a lot of, it breaks a lot of people down. And they they don't recover from it. It causes like issues later on, and they mm-hmm. can't find that again. So yeah, yeah. Do you feel like music has helped you to not be one of the people that it just breaks down forever? Because some people have asked it like, I'm not in love. I've never been in love, and it's like you know I could relate to. I've I've come maybe a couple times, and it's like through creative outlets I can process that and get it out. And maybe some people. Can't, I don't know why maybe people get broke down, but... Yeah, yeah I guess um, more or less, since I, like, think a lot, like, um, it was more of, like, trying to understand it as, like, a whole. And, like, mm-hmm. understanding my, like, percep- perception of love and all that. Because, like, I like showing love as much as I can to everybody yeah. around and enjoying all that. It's all, like, love, too. Then it's, like, that passionate love you hold with, like, one person. Like, it comes to be. You can't, like, force that. Like, it, it right. comes. It just happens. And it just just works out in the end, so yeah. it's like one of those things you just gotta understand. Like yeah, it's all cool, bro. Like it all work out. Just focus on yourself in the meantime, and mm-hmm. it would literally just it would just fall into your life unexpectedly. Right? Do you believe in destiny? Like, do you believe that that's faith, destiny? Yeah, some like it's like some people like I've met, especially like you could just feel like there's like a instant synchronous like synchronized connection yeah you're just like huh like very intriguing like connection that's going on like that you can like feel forehead the forehead like yeah yeah and yeah some, that happens sometimes so that's how i like, know like if i'm like looking for a partner like that's how i know like oh i'm like into you like i can okay. tell off rip if i like would be into you like progress like somehow. yeah so do you ever have people on the opposite side of that where you're like i just looked at you or I just one second I don't like you yeah okay same shit. I'm so tell. glad to hear that so many people don't have that and I'm like I don't like this person I can be nice to them but some people are like no no so and so is cool I'm like they're not <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they exactly. just bug me for no reason yeah. and I can just tell if this person this you're cool but you know whatever so 
I'm glad I'm not the only person that uh, that feels that way. Um, damn it. Uh, let's see what else. I, let's see what else I got. Oh, shows. What uh? Ooh. What was your first show like? Like since you said you're kind of an entertaining person, first time on stage, what was uh oh. what was your first doing doing a show? Let's see, we had um, we used to go to Philly a lot. There was a uh, one guy in our group, shouts out Stevie. Stevie, hey man, go check him out, Stevie Rogers AOC. Um, he uh he had like this little like thing he used to host back in the day in Philly. So we used to okay. travel out there like occasionally. Um, and perform out there, but I remember this one before I was really like doing. I was in, before like I ever performed. Mm -hmm. This show in 2015, I remember. There's these guys named the Refi Boys. Okay. And then there's this one guy specifically. His name is Marilyn Mansion Toby Refi. We have this song called Y'all. He's from Austria. He's cool. If we can, if I can ever get him out here to perform, but he was there at that show. Uh, Little Tracy originally when he Whoa. was young, bro. Was actually he pulled up. He was actually supposed to be there, but he like pulled over on his way from Virginia. <laughs> And I remember first time, shout out Lil Tracy. I fuck yeah. with him now. Like, he's like, bro, who is this guy? Like, yeah, yeah. But then, like, over time, I was like, dude, he's from like the DMV. And he's one of my favorite, like, artists, like, over time. Like, yeah. But, um, yeah, we had the show. It was like, and then somebody, like, hosted, like, a house party. So all these people came, all the performers, uh, Young Bro at that time. Yeah. Lil Tracy came through with his boys, like, Buku and all them. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we all like they had like this little shed that had like GameCube and PS2 set up. Yeah, so that, was, like, a, that was a fun night. I was like really sick. It was like one of the first big show experiences. Hell then yeah. revert back to Philly. Uh, Stevie was like bringing us out there. We had like shows and it was just passing like weed in people's hands and shit. Damn, like, you know, like a first light or something like that. Where everybody sparked at the same. Time. Oh shit! Yeah, so that was that was the fun time. It was like some of the first times performing. Then we had this one in Baltimore again. Uh, it was like 2016 maybe and yeah we went crazy there and then the shows really started popping back in 20 was like 2018 2018 like when yeah. we first came out here it's like damn this shit's like crazy so i've had experience with it before yeah back in the shows we could get in philly and maryland so did you have to like pr i don't know say practice like doing shows or you kind of were just like yo i know how to do this it's, it felt natural up there it's like something like practicing your own songs in the mirror, like yeah. just close your eyes and envision people there, and like. But um, usually, uh, it just comes naturally. In all mm -hmm. honesty, like the the beat drops and like my like everything like all my filters and shit that I keep on just like disappear. I'm like yeah. I feel like fully like myself. Right. And yeah, I just go in and just enjoy singing and seeing the people go crazy and bumping their heads is always a fun time. Like, yeah. Kind of like blackout almost, more or less. Yeah. I know what you mean. I, uh, I've i played, because I played a band, so I would play a show, and I, I, the, I don't know how to describe it, but like when you said, I felt fully like myself, I was like, man, that's exactly how it feels. It's like, this is, I could do this all day, every day, yeah. like all the time. I know most people that see me, like, they see, like, one side of me, but, like, I really want them to experience, like, the full, like, the energy I could bring, like, right. to, like, a group of people. Like, I want them to see that side of myself the most. Right. Like, see me on stage performing my music. So, trying to get as many people as I come, trying to get my coworkers to come. If they don't, yeah. I ain't tripping, but, like, right. it'd be cool to see them there and all that. So, like, it's just, it's cool to have people see that side of myself, especially. So, it's cool. Yeah. yeah and that's that's what I love the most about it. And if I could do it my whole life, I would perform my whole life. Absolutely. Yeah. I could definitely definitely relate to that. Uh who uh other artists have you seen that has like best live shows? Is there anybody that you saw you're like, oh, I wanna be like I wanna start doing that type shit? Yeah, so I saw the Water Boys back in their early days when oh, they were yeah. really blowing up. It was like this is concert venue in DC. I remember it was like in the back of some like weird house and like the cut, like it was in the big cut. Yeah. And they had the the stage was literally a pallet with a piece of wood on top. Oh my god. I'm not lying to you. And then they had like ones inside the garage and shit like that. And seeing like bones and all them live and then seeing them progress. I did see Southside Suicide when they like came up. So I saw the Suicide Damn. Boys like a few times. I was headbanging next to Ruby back and forth. Yeah. Before they, big and that was like cool and then yeah that was like really inspiring to see like them and wolf and chris and all them like pop off on stage and shit like that yeah that was like a fun time hell yeah and that all excellent performers and uh, i always i'm always curious when people have other uh musical influences besides just rap because i came up in like the hardcore scene so going from that type of show to a rap show is very like i almost want to be like 
come here, let me show you how to perform something. Because, like, you just stand up there not doing anything. Yeah, or like, sometimes I don't, but, like, I like to move around and, like, get involved yeah. with the crowd. and. You could tell you feel it. natural up there. Like, yeah, any, any of the clips that I've seen of you, especially the uh, pro skater, it was like, yep. Yeah. No, you don't. You look at other people. You've probably seen it. it's like you could have. You'd have way more in- engagement if you did just went nuts, just let yeah. go and just go crazy and, and everything. So it's cool to see. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, what's your favorite show right now? What you've been watching? Doesn't have to see, be. Anime. We be um. We be putting shit on because Slim. My other roommate and I, we'd be chilling like in the living room, just playing like Elden Ring. So we pop on like a lot of TV shows. Yeah. I low key hated Friends for a minute, but I don't know. That's, <laughs> it kind of grew on me. Like, grew on like, you? Dude, this show is so fucking white. Like, what can I do about this? <laughs> and I grew, I like the characters. Like, Phoebe, I really like. She's an interesting character. Right, right. And I fuck with Lisa Kudrow's character, Heavy. And then, um, Matt. Whatever his name is, uh, Chandler. It's not Chandler. Is funny. Okay. Yeah. And, I've seen one episode of Friends ever. Yeah, so it's I'm pulling it, everything it's from that one episode. It's favorite show. So like, uh, okay. I just watch it. But um, this one that I really liked called Devs. It has Nick Offerman in it. It starts okay. off like a murder mystery. Then it's like whole science fiction, crazy shit about like this quantum computer that they built. Like and like something happened when. Uh, with his daughter and wife mm-hmm. and he created his computer to uh, fix the problem more or less so I don't okay. want to like, get into it but if you understand like how quantum computers work and like and all that like and how it, that's a cool show it's on Hulu it's only like eight episodes okay I suggest everybody watch it it's, it's called devs devs d-e-v-s okay yeah it's like a it's actually like a joke it's once you once you once they say like what devs means mm. you'll be like Bro, what the <laughs> fuck? I don't want to, like, spoil the show at all. And just yeah. in case anybody wants to watch it. But I was like, wow, that's genius. Really, it's really cool. Okay. Really cool I'm going to have to check that out. Yeah, I always ask see. people, so, because I'm always curious, like, you run out of shows real fast, you yeah. know, like a weekend or something. Mm-hmm. So, excellent. Um, What, uh, when you look at who is Greg Jones' future i i always hate phrasing as like where do you see yourself in five years but like when you look at greg jones like you're gonna be making music you're gonna start finally start doing projects what you want to make what is like goals for who is greg jones like what would you be like this is what i want to achieve Let's maybe see. in life in general like, too i have a few envisions especially when i was a teen i just closed my eyes i could see myself like a massive stage and a bunch of people in like a crowd yeah like i'm either holding my guitar or whatever and but uh i just want to like Hopefully, if, like, all the boys stay serious, we can, like, create our own independent label because mm-hmm. the music scene, how you got to get in is it, you, you're, like, selected and the things you have to yeah. put yourself through for a couple million is never going to be worth it. <laughs> right, right. So, like, uh, it just, like, yeah, we just go and do our own shows and have our own little, like, label so we can get paid off of it, like, as a whole and all that. So, mm-hmm. it's, like... Just perform, like, just use, like, a, just grow a status and, like, start streaming yeah. and all that. Because I can make music and stream and have right. fun playing games and all that. Yeah. But at the same time, eventually want to do some, like, humanitarian shit because there's all this shit that's going on out here. I right. don't have, like, a voice or, like, the money to do it now. But if, like, that led me to that place, I would gladly do all that shit. Just, yeah. Yeah. And I'm even thinking the from the tying in the destiny aspect of it is like not everybody has that thought of I want to help other people and I want to whatever and it's cool you found like your path of I can make music be creative entertain people and that's gonna maybe lead to the means to help all those people so yeah. it's cool to hear uh, just and a lot of people wouldn't think about that yeah. they're like me 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 whatever and it's it's a uh, cool to hear that sometimes I've been called a. Uh selfish occasionally and it made me like think that's probably when like my ego is kicking in but as uh, i look yeah. as i like look around and like sometimes i do like it depends like but like i would i'll go out the way for like to do things for like my friends and my close ones yeah especially if like i had a significant other i might be like overwhelmed i would like do whatever like I, usually like I just fucking experience like a uh, person that they haven't felt before so like uh, just like showing all that love and like yeah even smiles on people's faces and just being there i mean like not talk all the time because especially i hate i despise <laughs> texting because like oh, okay you can't um always get like what they're really saying because mm-hmm. there's no like vote you're just reading words on a on a screen so right like, even the inflection like, sometimes yeah yeah it can like 
misperceive what people are saying and shit like that. Right. So I always prefer to like meet in person or like communicate in person because then you can like feel the vibes and talk. Yeah. And yeah, it actually feel say how you want to feel and shit like that because texting can be like lost in translation in all honesty. Absolutely. So I end up not like hitting them up, but like I'm I'm there for all the people if they need me like ever. I'll be there to like consult or like listen out and give mm-hmm. some wisdom the best I can based off my experiences. Yeah. So I know like probably not the one they would probably like, look to, but just hope they know like all the boys back home, bro. Like yeah. Shit, she going through some shit. Hit me up the best you can. I know, like, I seem like I ain't been there for y'all, but like, <laughs> I'm up here, so like, I don't know what's going on down there all the time. So I can't right. really, I don't know, like, so I can't really like speak. But I'm there the best I can. Like, I'll go out my way. For, yeah. Like, all my the ones I care about the most for real. So. So why do you think somebody calls you selfish? It does like you're you. I mean, at times <laughs> it can like what like because I'd be tripping, I guess, in my own head, and like some uh, of the things I'd be like doing. There it is. Hey, we did it. (laughs) But, um, fucking, yeah, I guess at times, like, I guess it seems like it, but it's, like, it's not like that. Like, just, like, if I, like, really, really care about you, like, then I would. Because sometimes you don't have the energy if, like, I don't care too fully. Like, maybe it could seem like I'm, like, off-putting. Like, sometimes I do things, but, like, I'm trying to find that balance between myself and showing the love to the people around me so like some of the things i would like do i guess could seem like selfish but it's just like it's better for myself because it's like one of the things that like made me feel that way at first was just up and leaving my friends and my mother and shit like that to come yeah. out here but i just felt personally like try new like scenery and mm-hmm. see if i can get my mind right out there and shit like that so yeah it's like times like that when you feel like you got to get yourself right more and so right. you can go back to spreading that love and all that fun around with other people around you and shit like that. Yeah, that makes sense. And and I, I always ask, I always <laughs> I have pretty much been getting the same answer, but I'm gonna ask it again until <laughs> until I get a, a different answer. Uh, how do you kind of balance that? How do you kind of balance like taking care of yourself but taking care of you know the people that you care about? Because I not to ask the question and then just me start talking, but I notice with myself sometimes I, I do feel like that. Like no, hit me up. I could I want to be at whatever people need because I, I care about them. If they need something, I want to be there. But then I'm empty, and sometimes I'm too empty, and then I become an asshole sometimes. Yeah, like you know, whatever. How do you kind of how do you balance uh, taking care of this and that? So mostly, like I'm in my head. Like obviously, it's a journey, and it's my life. So like when I like I I sit down and like think about like what did I do this week? Like what can I like make sure this doesn't happen again? And yeah, shit like that. But I like sometimes even slimming them those like I, like dip away and go sit in my room for a minute. It's more or less like I need time to myself to mm-hmm. like gather in and gather because you get socially drained from for sure. social shit so to make sure like keep true to myself or go and enjoy my time alone by yeah. myself in my room and just chill whatever and um and then once I, I just go around and like I show it the best I can like I'm there regardless and yeah the balance just comes from and it's kind of like my mind like I realize like oh shit like yeah that shit's fucking me that shit, I could see, like, or, like, I see the perspective of other people, and I'm just like, oh, I could, like, see, so, like, let me not, like, yeah. do that, and, like, because that could affect that, and I can see how it's making them upset based off, like, what I'm doing. Okay. So, like, it's more of, like, thinking about myself, too, and then thinking about myself through the perspective of other people, but not letting that, yeah. like, affect me just, like, a way to, like, interpret it and change, like, what's going on or whatever. So that's, that's the best way I can try to balance it. Yeah, that's awesome. And I, I always try to do that as well of like, oh, somebody said this thing to me and it's like, I want to react this way, but it's like, hold on. What is their perspective on this? Why are they doing this? Whatever. Um, so I'm just glad you said that you didn't say you don't or yeah. I don't or whatever. And it's like, cool. Like, I understand we don't, but just, you know, tips and tricks sometimes <laughs> helps because I, I, uh, I'm still learning. I'm on that journey myself trying to yeah. balance everything type. Uh, Usually somebody like says something in the moment that I get like caught up because I'm like, like my whole like vibe. I'm like, oh shit, like wait. And I like get down and out for like a second just thinking about what's going yeah. on. And I like lay down and think about it. I'm like, oh, I see. Usually I like try to apologize if it's like something like ridiculous or like right. that. I was like, bro, my fault and shit like that. <laughs> and all that so that's, that's like the best way I try to like handle that yeah sometimes in the moment it's like hard if I don't have time to like immediately think about it because I'm like doing some other shit so right yeah absolutely shifting gears for a second you don't have to answer this I'm just gonna throw this out there most embarrassing moment Whew. 
most embarrassing moment. I have a lot, like, <laughs> like clumsy and shit like that, and like goofy. So I'd be like saying shit that's like embarrassing. Like, I don't mean like comes uh, out wrong. Okay. I'd be um. I was at this girl's house not too long ago, and I accidentally left her water on, bro. It was the first time. Like, oh, was no. Tight. In her bathroom, it, like, flooded. Like, the, like, the sink? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the sink didn't drain right or some shit, so it, like, flooded her bathroom. Oh, no. And, like, dripped kind of, like, down because it's like, some crack. And I was like, fuck, bro. <laughs> bro. I was like, damn. <laughs> I try to like play it off like all oh, smooth. I'm like fuck, bro. Like, <laughs> like damn, like I fucked up. Like, shit like that would be like funny as fuck, but it's just like funny moments. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You, like care. So I just, oh my god, it's like shit like that. Like dude, just like so, just like out the cut. Like I'm just like fuck. How the fuck did I do even <laughs> manage to pull that off? Only me, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like and yeah. sometimes we, I, I appreciate it sometimes later on because it's like, I got a good story now. And, you know, it's either whether it maybe sucks in the moment, but the moment's going to pass and then I'm going to have a great story and people that maybe don't do embarrassing shit. Yeah. Sorry, you got no stories. Like. <laughs> oh, man. So who, uh, if, you're, if you're listening to music, you're just driving around, you're just whatever, who who you been listening to? Recently, uh, Remo Drive. Remo Ooh, Drive is a fire Remo bit. Drive. Eat shit is my shit in the car. Yes. Crash. <laughs> Head in the pavement. Oh, that shit goes up. And then uh, the, yeah. the drop that they had. Dun, 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 Yo. Dun, 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 dun. Um, Proto Martyr is a really fucking fire band. Ooh, they have I a, like that name. They have this song called Ellen. Oh, my goodness. He's like, scar in the <laughs> sky floating by. And, like, I was just like, when you hear that shit in the car, like, slow dive, too, like, in the yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes Aaliyah been going in, bro. Mm. Like, Aaliyah is one of my favorite, like, female artists. She be Hell fucking yeah. slapping in the whip with the Timberland beats, bro. Yeah. Hell the fuck yeah. <laughs> it depends on, like, the mood, though. Like, I have, like, this little playlist. Like, mm-hmm. I have, like... But I try, like... I, like, bumping, like, the high-energy rock songs in there and singing yeah, them all, yeah. like, loud as fuck. So, like, Remo Drive, Mom Jeans, and all those, like, popular, like, mm-hmm. high-energy, like pop punk bands whatever you want to call them nowadays yeah. let's see who else we got um i know joyce manor and mom jeans are coming up i'm trying to see if i want to pay 40 dollars even go and see that yeah yeah but uh other it than is that, an interesting like, like duo yeah it's fucking what else is it <sighs> something like that this is one song i really like by lcd sound systems called dance yourself clean yeah i heard that at karaoke like the dj at karaoke like sung and i was like um, what the fuck is this? Yeah. And I was like, cause it's like walking, it starts like all slow. And then, um, then it has like a big drop. And then he starts going like, don't you want me to wake <laughs> up? And I go fucking in on that. Yeah. And then I like change. And then we go. And then shit like that. <laughs> and it just like drops. Like, I'm just like, fuck, this shit is a banger. It's like a nine minute song, but it's like okay. going in. Um, what is your go-to karaoke song as you're uh, as you're bringing it up? Go-to karaoke song? Yeah. It depends on like what I've been listening to recently. Uh, uh, recently, it's been "Smile Like You Mean It" by the Killers. Okay, Killers has great karaoke music in <laughs> yeah. general. I feel like. Or like the Highland Square. Like uh, there's like this one that everybody sings like pop punk. So mm-hmm. like that's the best one to go to. Yeah. So I just be jamming the fuck out with like those like Blink and all like my favorite like. Hide. Oh, actually, one I my go-to. I'm I'm capping to you. <laughs> Uh, what's up by uh, Four Non Blondes? Oh man! Twenty five years and my life is still trying to get up the great big hill of hope. Her voice is like fire and really good. Yeah, I'm not like singing the full potential, so right. like, don't mind. <laughs> I'm not singing the full potential. <laughs> yeah, so like you gotta come see karaoke for yeah. the for the <laughs> full. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But um, yeah, definitely. What's up? Like that's one of the big ones. I, I perform that first because like it's hard to get my like vocals right. Right, Everybody right. Loves that one and knows it. So like I get people singing along. So hell yeah. I try to get it all out. What's <laughs> in my head and I and I'm feeling, dude. That shit. Uh, everybody singing along to that. Be going in. Hell yeah. So, yeah. That should be fun. Who eventually would you want to work with artist wise whether it's other i don't know just we'll just say who would you want to work with but make anything with you know i haven't thought about this too heavy it's probably because like i guess i thought so low on myself so i didn't like uh, didn't think about working with these people yeah um Plus, I feel like you've had a group around you kind of so you've exactly. been working with people it's not that, like, like it's an been inspiring yeah right exactly. right big stream ones though R.I.P. Dolph. I would 
Oh, I, man. R.I.P. Dolph. That, that shit would have been tough, but obviously I don't think, I don't think I can do the future with that. But like, yeah, yeah. S- S- Ghana would be fire, bro. Like, that would be fire. dope. That would be sick as fuck. Especially some guitar type shit, yeah, too. That, gonna, be, eh. that shit would be heat. I do. I would want to work with like a band. That would be really fucking sick. Yeah, I was curious if you, if you had any bands that you were like had an eye on or that you were looking to work this with. This is one in Maryland I fuck with named Some Mess. They okay. are like fucking fire. They're so I saw them at like a basement show. Oh shit! It was like the first rock show I went to was a basement show. I was like, these guys are like sick. Yeah. Um, Love basement yeah, shows. It would. <sighs> Man, these bands are so old. Like, could I even have the possibility of working with them anymore? <laughs> Like slow dive, especially It'd be like mm-hmm. man, some shit like that. My like uh, Remo Drive, that'd be really fun. I would love to sing with the lead singer. He has like a cool voice. Yeah, I yeah. Don't, I don't know how to describe it, but he has like a cool voice. That'd be one of the, like modern like emo bands would be sick. Mm-hmm. Like that'd be fun to work with them. I can't lie. Yeah, but I would just work with like any band for real. Like I can't lie, so that'd be like fun. There you go. Hell yeah. I'm trying to think, if, is there, I guess, is there anything else we need to know about you? Anything else we didn't cover? Anything else you want to get into? I'll double check if I got any good questions left that uh, we didn't cover. Uh, uh, I, guess, uh, I guess I could say, as much as like a wild I am and like anxious and clumsy, it, it, shooting my heart, I'm like super loving and I love like chilling with people and uh, who doesn't? We're all humans. We're yeah, all, yeah. That's not what I meant to say, obviously. <laughs> Hang like, with my friends, watching movies. It's like, weird <laughs> as, like me seem. I'm kind of like in my head, like anxious all the time. So there's like a lot of people around, a lot going on. Like you get overstimulated, so like they'll call sure. you like act in a peculiar way sometimes. But other than that, like I feel like don't talk or like seem uninterested. I'm usually in my like head of my own yeah. head a lot, just thinking about like whatever's going on in there, for more or less. And that's. More or less it. Like, I feel yeah. like I get misperceived, but, like, I'm, I'm full of surprises, for real. Like, I can surprise you in ways you, like, wouldn't even, like, imagine, in yeah. all honesty. Like, the ways in which you could surprise me would yeah. surprise me, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and, like, super, like, I, I love adventures and shit like that. I gotta go find, like, it's getting warmer, so, like, at least we hope it's getting warmer, so. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, going out in nature and fucking, who doesn't, I guess. I'm saying yeah. shit everybody <laughs> likes doing, I guess. <laughs> But like I feel like I I do get um misunderstood and mis like perceived sometimes. But mm-hmm. if you like really sat down and had like a conversation, like I can, we can get like intellectual, like have yeah. a chill conversation, like freely, like it's fun. Absolutely. Yeah, so. I did think of one more question. Best advice you ever got? Believe in yourself, because if you don't believe in yourself, then. No one will. Hell me. yeah. I can't lie. Was that, did you get that in a certain moment? Did you get that from something or like? Uh, I, overall, I had to like, so I didn't have, my father left when he was like young. So I didn't, okay. I grew up with women too. I guess same top, same question from last time. Yeah. So I grew up with my mom and my little sister and then my like aunts and my grandmother. So okay. it was really like no male role model for me. So I had yeah. to like learn all this on my own from like role models or like guys I do it like wisdom and shit like that right right reading like the text and shit like that of like ancient cultures and like mm-hmm. their wisdom and from philosophers and stuff like that to yeah really help understand so it's more of like figuring that out on my own for real and just right. keep telling myself that over time until i believe it more yeah. or less that's how it really was yeah that's kind of how it is sometimes you just kind of like say it you know people at work i'll walk in like how you doing i'm like i'm i'm fantastic until it's true and eventually by the end of it, it's like yeah whatever i'm fantastic you know you just say it enough times and then it it, it hits there so yeah exactly uh what can we look forward to uh from who is greg jones uh moving forward like we got project coming out do you have a release date no i do not i want to try to get it out within the next three months though so okay i have to finish that up Two, we have a couple shows. I'm not sure what the one on 23rd is going on. Talk mm-hmm. to Slim, but I'm pretty sure it's still going on. Okay. I'm out the way. We have a show April 14th at the Vortex. Damn, they're really cutting up. <laughs> uh, April 14th at the Vortex in Akron. Pull up, $10 yeah. at the door. If uh, Probably not going to be out by then, but like... Um, and yeah, there's some great music. I'm going to keep going in. Expect uh, to promote myself more and try to get like... People to like fuck with me more in my Hell team yeah. and, and good music, better music. First interview today, so that's Hell gonna be yeah. some like big inspiration to keep going harder and shit like that. I'm trying to get some like B roll videos and shit too, okay. like a couple songs. Yeah, that'll be like really fun. So yeah, just whatever comes to be. So I'm trying to get music more like rock shit as I learn how to like 
work with all that and try to get some more like solo bangers out. I know I have like a lot of futures, so I gotta work on more solo shit. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna figure out how I wanna pull that off for real, for real. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. And I thought of two more questions. Go ahead. Uh, is it, are you Greg Jones, but you're like, a handle like your online thing is who is Greg Jones that's like the the at or the handle or whatever or are you is your a full artist thing it is who is Greg Jones kind of like an I don't know Jeffrey I guess you could kind of say that but like who is Greg Jones still like true to myself because we all have like our internet personality like a it's just like kind of a part of ourselves but it's kind of like still a side that you want people to fuck with the most so you know right, what I'm trying right. to say it's, a lot of people use that the internet for that but it's still like hold mostly true to what I like feel and say on the internet for the most part so like so if you were gonna get more, like, introduced at a show like okay next up we've who got Greg Jones? it's who is Greg Jones yeah that's the artist if that's okay but yeah the artist's name who is Greg Jones and is isn't just who you can call me who is Greg Jones like Greg whatever it okay it really matters so like it's all the same stuff so like and this is like the the little jokes who is Greg Jones and yeah like, who is he and shit like that and it's like never how is Greg Jones and shit like that. <laughs> I like yeah. that. Yeah, but yeah, that's just my stage name, I guess, for right now. Okay. Yeah, I like it though. It kind of sticks, so it like fits with like the whole what's that word? Enigmatic fucking. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Enigma. Yeah. You're an enigma or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. So like, kind of like mysterious a little bit too, I guess. Yeah. So. Yeah. And do you feel you kind of hinted a little bit that like. It's still, it's a journey and everything, but do you feel like you are keeping it who is Greg Jones, but you, do you know who Greg Jones is? Like, have you found Greg Jones and now you're just polishing it? Or are you still kind of like wondering yourself? I think I have for the most part, but obviously there's parts that you still want to get better and just keep progressing every day. Yeah. And parts that are like, I don't like that I like old patterns that I gotta like change and find new ways and mm -hmm. yeah more or less I found like who I am and like my voice for the most part and other than yeah so yeah I guess I could say that um what was it going from there <laughs> I can't you, you found Greg Jones basically yeah, more like or less so now I'm like the parts that like I wanna like take out and like put away and like change for like a better quality you know uh, if you know what i'm trying to like say like progression right right like, yeah shit that was like causing me issues all around that's not gonna work moving forward and shit like that it's like mm -hmm. tweaking more or less right like, tweaking up like who you are and shit like that and because you gotta like understand your negative side and your positives you gotta have that mm -hmm. yin and yang so like to get that balance and figure all that out it's yeah, yeah it's just so i got all that down so just tweaking and still because my confidence is like out the ass before so it like, feels good so yeah it's like fun i may be like aloof a lot too but usually i'm just vibing in my head like right <coughs> oh yeah and i got one more question we're just i'm just keep going until i can't think of anything else You're cool. uh any or what are like top books that you've read because you sound like you educated yourself a lot you mentioned a couple really good books anything that you're just like oh this is i love this book uh, or this taught me this or anything that stands out book wise that the giver was fucking fire bro. the givers okay yeah, that shit is heat like any of those like I haven't read too many books since like high school for real yeah like, that was only uh, supposed behold to read a, school. behold a pale horse was a really behold, I'm writing it down behold, behold a, a pale, pale horse. horse I forgot the artist but it is that is one of, that is like the truth man behold a pale Ooh, horse okay it comes from the bible like the god had the three the four right horses, right and behold the pale the pale rider and shit like that mm -hmm. but the author of that he was like super like woke like he was on interviews and shit he's like if you guys want to take me out you're gonna have to come to my house and get me myself damn and guess how he died he um cops put up to his house he put out a gun shot at a cop and the shot killed it cop killed him wow damn that's crazy once you read that book you're gonna be like fuck you're okay like, what the fuck like it has everything from like JFK and all that. Like he like he he understood like like I don't know, but that book is not just that's a top tier book that people should read. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna check that out. I, I love reading and uh sometimes it almost feels like the scavenger hunt of like this book references, this book, whatever, so I'm always, you know, stacking on the list, so I'm excited for that one. Anything else? Any other books? You can say no. I'm just I'm no, throwing it on the spot. Right no, I guess right now, no, because I guess I can't cap. I haven't read too many books in a long time. Yeah. So, oh, excuse me. 
But um, that's more or less one. I think everybody should read Behold a Pale Horse to like give you an interesting perspective on like the Hell world. Hell yeah. Shit is really interesting. Absolutely. There's one movie I think a lot of people should watch called Waking Life. It has the Hispanic guy from Days and Confused. Okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, he goes on like he dies and he like wakes up he gets like hit by a truck he wakes up and like he's not sure what's going on like he's mm -hmm. walking through and sh things doesn't seem like how they are and it's like they like act it out but like they draw all over it like uh, that kind of art style okay. like and like in a dream and he talks to like this famous people and they like Ethan Hawke is in it yeah and, like, they go on like different perspectives on like the mind and how people work and all that mm -hmm. it's a beautiful fucking movie is really yeah. good and really thought provoking movie uh, everybody should peep what was the name of it waking life waking life all right waking i'm gonna write life. that down too really interesting movie. waking life dude i appreciate that yes sir now i gotta ask since i brought it up earlier favorite cereal <sighs> berry captain crunch is up there berry okay captain crunch oops all berries or just the regular just with regular. the yellow pillows oops all berries ain't too bad but like regular just berry captain crunch cinnamon toast crunch uh it was a slept on one I fuck with. Can't remember, but you're cool in my book, Captain Crunch. That's, yeah. that's like my cereal. Yeah, Absolutely, it's a fucking smack on that any day. Or the berries, Reese's Puffs, obviously. Yeah, all that shit. So absolutely. Yeah. Um, I'm out of questions. Any of the shout outs we got to do? We shout out a bunch of people. Shouts out everybody that we shout out. Any any additional shout outs? Yeah. Anybody wanna we throw at the end? First of all, shouts out to you, man. Thanks, like I man. really appreciate you having appreciate me on the you, first dude. interview, man. That's what keeps me going it's one of the things that keep me going and have people here aside they probably haven't like really heard before like yeah and yeah i definitely have to still shout out all my boys back in maryland man i oh, wouldn't be boys. here i wouldn't be here without them all the people i met out here like so nino and mm -hmm. night runner and all that they be going in and hell yeah who else i meet out here like all the artists i met out here there's this one named pro g uh my boy, shout out pro g yeah lachlan and all these, all these wonderful Ohio artists out here, and definitely Mama Reaper and Slim, like they, they've been like a big help. Shout out to them, Heavy and his family out there. Shout out to my mom especially. I know like we haven't talked much recently, but I hope you all doing. Hope you guys are doing good. My sister and all that. Hell yeah! yeah. And her f husband. Oh, I hope okay. They, they, I hope they're doing good. And yeah. Definitely like. All the close ones around me. Like, shouts out to ALC, especially another lost cause, definitely for life. Oh, yeah. Stevie, P. Dix, Esther, Ray Ray, Joey Smokes, <laughs> all of them. Frander, Lost Topic, cool. everybody in ALC, all the supporters of ALC, and all the people that's been supporting me so far. Like, man, you guys keep me going. And all my, like, internet friends from back home and all that, PlayStation friends and all that. Hell and yeah. just shouts out to everybody. That, shouts out to everybody. That, that, that brought me along on this journey for real. So, Shouts out to the team specifically, my brothers and all that, so.